Don't right. worry about it. I was actually able to open a notepad and write down a couple of questions and stuff, so. Nice, nice. All right, let us <coughs> see what is going on here. Uh, let me turn on my screen share. Oh, you were gold last season, but now you're platinum. Yeah. Hoggers. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I, I, uh, when did I start? I started late season two. So started doing rank season three and then finally achieved gold. And then once I hit gold, that was kind of it. But now I got back into league and I want to try and hit like diamond or even higher. I see. I see. Um, so can you see my screen, by the way, on Discord? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> nice. Let's talk about, uh, let's talk about, I guess, you know, you know, usually I start with champs, but it's mostly Jinx, right? Jinx and Zaya, but yes. I switched off Zaya and went to Jinx. So yeah, Zaya is not having a good time, I don't think. Uh, no, as much. So um, Jinx for sure, not bad. Uh, especially if you have the skin, right? That's pay to win. Um, oh yeah, dude. And then uh, in terms of builds, seems like everything's okay, right? Uh, how about playstyle? Playstyle, I'm very aggressive. Um, I always want to be doing damage, so. You know, you know how like um, <coughs> you said you're more like, I think you said you're more like deft, who's more passive. No, 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 reckless, reckless. Okay, and then deft is the super aggressive one. Well, any any Korean AD carry really, to be honest. Okay, um, so I'm definitely more like them. I try interesting. and. Okay, it, interesting. You, I've actually toned down a lot because I've watched your videos and uh -huh. seen. You were like, it's better to stay alive and have the potential to do damage. Than to die, because exactly. you wanted to do damage. Exactly. So, right. That's I've actually, actually the uh, the the uh, the idea that um, even the aggressive AD carries right. The reason why they're playing like that is because they already know they can't die for whatever reason, right? Uh, yep. Or at least they think they do. <laughs> and then uh, then they start pushing the boundaries of what they can do. And uh, you know, for most most people, uh, you know, that's like that's like beyond us. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. <clears throat> oh. This guy just dies. Nice traps, by the way. Yeah, um, I was actually pretty impressed myself. I liked it. I've I played like a lot again. of Tristana, and I know if she <laughs> hits that W, then the bomb goes off sooner, so I flashed mm -hmm. it preemptively. It's perfect, right? Um, <clears throat> man, that was the uh, level 2 debate. They thought they had level 2, and then you guys weren't getting it, but you just you just got level 2. So. Yep. Um, okay, sure. And then I guess we're going to push this out. I think that's fine. Sure, sure, sure. Base, right? Oh, okay. If we think we don't need a base, I think that could be fine too. Uh oh, they have an Eve. Interesting. Yeah. So you know that you said that um, you're more aggressive and you know that kind of in terms of play style. But how about uh, what do you think you're really good at? What do you think you need work on in terms of like oh early game laning, mid game like so, fights. So, uh, that's <laughs> the thing. I'm very all over the place. This game is very it's one sided. I just absolutely destroy them. But if you take a look at, I'm pretty sure every other VOD, I just get too far behind and I don't know how to catch up or like keep pressure, you know? Or like, or not keep pressure, but like keep hope, I guess? I, I don't really know. Like, like, how do you come back? How do you play from behind, I guess, in a way? Aggressive. I play for kills to try and come back. Interesting. Or, or I would try and farm <laughs> side lanes, but then usually what happens is because my tower's gone or something, I die. So. Uh, Interesting. Well, we'll yeah. definitely we'll definitely see some of that for sure, All right? <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Um. Oh, oh, there's something we can talk about. All right. So, what are we trying to do here? Here. Right. Uh, push lane. That way I have a creep minion or a creep advantage, and then okay. that way if Leona dive, dives me, they so take more say, damage. Let's say we push, right? And then, uh, you know, we're at their tower, and then Eve comes out. What happens? We die. Right. <laughs> I like how, like, casually you say it. So, yeah, you, you just die, right? So, yeah. uh, what's the problem with pushing here? Is that we're, we're going to die. Yeah. Right. There's, there's literally nothing you can do. Who's going to come save you? No, there's no Jax TP, I'm pretty sure. Lee Sin's top. You know, LeBlanc's busy doing mid things. You guys are just dying if you push. Okay. Right? So how do you know this before it happens? And what should you do instead? So these two questions I want you to think about right now. 
So before I should look at the mini map and see where Lee Sin is. If he's able, if he's on our bot side, <coughs> then he we, could theoretically come help us. We'd always we always assume that. Um, okay, that's very true, right? But uh, we always assume that the jungler's not here, which he he isn't, right? Your jungler is never gonna be here. So this picture, okay. we're dead. Yeah, because Eve comes around, either a tri bush or pops over the plant, and then right, Leona right, can right, flash right. EQ or something. Right, we're playing in such a way that um. She could have just face tanked that brand W and gone for you, maybe, right? Or maybe Tristana can jump first. Anything like that, right? Seems really, uh, really Monka S if you know your Twitch emotes. So, yeah. Um, okay. But, you know, there, there's, there's not really a major problem in doing this as long as you know it's coming, right? right. So, let's say you know it's coming and you stand back here and they walk forward, you back off. Is that fine? I think that's fine, right? Yeah, I'd they say that's fine. They can't get to you. Okay, so what's wrong? What's the difference between what we just said and this? <laughs> so this, I'm too far pushed up, right? Right, we're like in the minion wave where they can engage on us. That's the that's the thing is that they can actually go on us here, right? So the, the big idea is always um, you have to know it's coming before it happens. We have to know that it can happen before it happens, right? Because if it can right. happen, it will happen, you know? Like right. uh, how many times have you been like, I want this wave, but, you know, Rengar's... Rengar could be here. I'm going to get it anyways, and then you die, right? Like, that happens a yeah. lot to many players, even me, right? Um, yeah. Back before, I, I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> right? It's like, oh, you know, I kind of want this, but, you know, where's talent? I don't know. Let's just go get it, right? Um, yeah. That's the classic, right? So, well, you know, the idea is that you have to know it's happening before it happens. And then the second is, can you beat it? So maybe you say something like, if I'm standing back here, and they look like they're going to engage on me, then I'm going to back off. And they can't actually get on me because I'm too far away, right? That could be a way. Um, right. Uh, but unless you do this first step that you know it's coming, then, you know, you're never going to be able to get away from this game, right? So um, so <coughs> if... So bas basically, I just super botched the lane right here. Well, it's not like super botched. It's more well, like a... Um, there's cause, potential cause for getting push, punished. Right, because if I push, though... <laughs> Now they can freeze in in the zone they're in right now, and I can't contest because Eve could come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the problem, right? Um, so there's there's a few ways that could happen, right? So one is that you're too far up, they ganky, you die. One is that you stay far back, they you know show that they're ganking, and then you guys are happy. So Lee's gonna go gank top. Or the third is that they just stand there, and you have no idea where Eve is. And if you walk up, you die. If you don't walk up, you know you're losing CS. And Lee Sin doesn't know where she is. Right, so right. he can't really just gank for free either. So uh, that would be the worst outcome, right? Which is what can happen if you do this. So, <laughs> so in a way, yeah, we kind of, um, uh, I would say it is a mistake because it gives them the, op it, it, basically, the only way you can win is if you bait out something somehow, right? Um, right, like Leona E or something. <laughs> or they're just like made massive mistake. I don't know, but yeah, you're right. You, you kind of put yourself in a losing position is what I like to call it, right? We're already losing on the onset. Maybe we can turn it into a good situation but <coughs> usually no right right <coughs> so how do we know this before it happens like right at this picture bam how do we know we don't want to push <coughs> uh leeson gank top and then leona's pushing forward leona being aggressive here wouldn't that be a tell assuming uh, that you could be yeah, here yeah i would say you tells are important but uh think about it in a way that no matter what they do, you cannot die to a gank. What do you need for that to happen? Oh, I need to stand next to my tower. <coughs> farther okay, back that's, in the lane. Maybe that's like one way, but there's something more important because, you know, you can't really play the game um, standing under your tower, right? Most of the oh, time. Oh, flash? Like. Yes, flash. You need flash, right? So let's say, for example, you have flash up. Uh, Leona goes for some Eve flash. You can actually flash that. Right. right? Or Eve charms you or tries to charm you. You can actually flash that, right? So... Um, but this is actually this. I would say this lane plus jungle combo is so strong, you're probably dying even with flash, right? If you're not careful. Right. <coughs> so yeah, but the basic idea is if their jungle slash bot combo is average or anywhere below average or even above average, can you can probably still get away with flash if you push, right? That's how gotcha. you know you can push. Is right. do I have flash, right? Um, in this case, we have no flash. That's the first thing that would tell me I can't push this. Basically, if you have no flash, it's almost always never that you can push this, right? The only time okay. you're doing it is, I saw you do it. What situation was that? After For... your brand died. 
You had no pushing. flash? You had no flash, but you were pushing even though your brand was dead. Why? And it worked 100% of the time. Do you Can remember? you go back to it? <laughs> Do you it's the same picture, except we have something... Uh, Lee something, Sin. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're baiting, right? We're trying to bait yeah, yeah. here. How do we know Eve's not here? She's not invisible yet. So um, unless she's like 300 IQ behind the dragon pit, I don't know. Uh, you guys, it seems good here, right? So that's that's what we'd say is if you wanted to push without flash, you need your jungle here, right? Which is exactly what you do, right? So pretty right. free, I would say. Um, we would actually say that, um, I would say this is probably still losing though. Why? <laughs> because Eve could come around the... No, no, the no. Plane. 2v2, you guys are losing. Why? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tristana focuses me with E W. Well, what ability did Tristana not use that would just basically say you guys are getting double killed here? Look at this. Deal? What is she doing? No, no, no. What is she doing? What is she doing? If she jumps right now, what happens? I die. You guys, you guys are fucked, right? There's nothing you yeah. can do. Uh, yeah. So yeah, this is still. We would say this is not good, right? Because uh, you had the idea that you wanted a bait, but it wasn't really complete. It wasn't complete. Right. Right. Um, you guys can't actually win the two v two. So, um, but yeah, I don't. He uh he just stood there, right? It was kind of awkward. Uh, and it's not like he didn't have it, cause look, he used these abilities, right? Yeah. All he had to do was just use it first. <laughs> so that was interesting. Um, but this is the general ah. idea: is you do want your jungle here if you're pushing without flash. This is what we call, you know, you're actively baiting, right? You're fishing right. for a bait, right? So right. in this case, you know, the reason why it's important to to be able to uh, say it out loud uh, in terms of this is what I want to do is because when you do this and you don't have a bait, you guys are dying, right? Right. <clears throat> or I think you did see Eve here. So maybe you're not dying, but um, uh, in a different scenario, you could be dying, right? And I would say something like, even then... Uh... Even <laughs> even though Eve showed top, couldn't I maybe assume that mid is also uh, right, right, them? of course. Mid's coming, but yeah. you saw on base too, right? So this would be like, oh, yeah. now this is getting to an advanced scenario is if you push this in, how long does it take for Eve to get down here? For you, for right. them to make you... Uh... It's about 30 seconds. <coughs> right. Or for I'll the say... other wave to show up. Right, that's a probably a good estimate. So, you know, 30 seconds pass, and where are we now? So now Eve could be around Wolves or Gromp, or somewhere <laughs> in that area. All right, could get spicy real quick, right? Um, yeah. But it's just, I just wanted to point out the relationship between getting ganked and having Flash, right? Because yep. it's always super important. That's how you, like, the reason why it's so important to go over this is because maybe in the past seasons, it wasn't as important, right? If you died, you know, like oh, season yeah. four, I remember it was like, oh, okay, we're still, I mean, I'm still better than this guy. We're going to still win. But now, oh, yeah. this season, you're so, you're, oh, it's over, right? It's terrible. You, you give up a kill. Oh, we lost <laughs> lane. We lost, we lost jungle. Reds, I mean, fucking uh. everything in the bot lane is gone. Like, your jungle is getting invaded. Sorry, jungle. Dragon's gone. Scuttle's gone. He's going to go top. You know, this game is really hard now, right? So that's, that's why it's super important. To, that's uh, why I hate, that and it feels like 80 carry now. It's not even <laughs> 80 carry anymore. It's half. It's almost like 75% support matchup. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it is right. Support is the most important part about the the lane, unless you have some kind of uh, super warping champion like Draven, for example, or oh, yeah. someone who's super weak like Vayne, right? Um, okay, so let's talk about this though. What's going on here? <clears throat> so yeah, yeah, so they LeBlanc comes down obviously. Right, right, right. right. Leona misses E, so I'm just trying to get <coughs> harass off. Okay. More harass, because I figure LeBlanc's going to dive, and then Brand obviously goes in. But I realize we don't have minions, so I kind of just start pushing the wave. So this is correct, what you're doing right here. You can't help this, right? Right. But why couldn't you help this? What do you think? What did you do that kind of made it so you weren't able to help this? Because you could have helped. But, uh, you know, we're about to see it right now. Oh, I didn't. Uh, I chompered too early. And, uh, you know... So we're going into this dive with how many abilities? One. Yeah, not I, even I one. Mean, yeah, not even one, right? <laughs> so that so here's the idea is that um uh, have you ever heard of the of the idea of ability value? Yes. Right, it's so. I've watched plenty of your videos. Okay, so you know uh, what's coming you know what's coming. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I know what's coming. Don't use it. Don't use it, right? Because this yep. is the clear even if you don't know um how you could use it, you know, well later, it'll become really obvious. Like, let's say, for example, you didn't use anything, and then you see this, where's the obvious spot to put your chompers? Uh, right where Leona is. <laughs> yeah, they can't go anywhere. Right, yep. so this is the idea that even if you can't see the future in this way, it will always be better to hold on to it because something like this will occur, right? 
Um, right. And even if something like this doesn't occur, it's better to not use it like you did because it's just a bad habit, right? And you're not going to get anything out of it anyways. So right. that's, the, that's the main idea is, you know, don't use I it. Think, you could have done something here, but. <laughs> I think I have a super bad habit because after, after watching, I watch videos and uh -huh. like podcasts and stuff during work and I've watched a bunch of your videos. And the past couple of days, I've been trying to tell myself, like, oh, man. Like, you'll see it in the couple VODs where I botched the alt super hard. Oh, no. And I'm just like, Saber would tell me to hold on to it right now. Yeah, don't use it, right? I mean, I have the so... exact same problem, so. Oh, we're, uh... oh, we're okay here, actually. Yep. And then I Interesting. just Interesting. Let's, uh, let's, let's watch this part. So how do you know you're going to be okay here running through the tower? Running through the tower? Like you are right because now. it's so they killed uh, Tristana and then I think they killed or Leona backed off so now it's a two v one and then Fizz missed his alt as well. All right. So and then I'll we also, I also have heal. This is quite the uh, Monka S right here. Oh, if because, Fizz uh, hits alt. All right. How did he? You know, what would you have done if he walked up to you instead Nothing. of casting alt from max range? Nothing. Because like it's on the flash. Yeah, he stands on top of you. How can you miss? Right. So I yeah. think this is just like he fucked up, I think. Um, okay. <laughs> look at this fish, just like super big. Seems good. Um, but yeah, yep. he could have just look at this. He already got next to you. I don't know why he would just cast this now, right? So what's the what's the problem here? What do you think? It's not that I think maybe there's a way we can help or something like that, but uh, how did you know you could help? Is the idea. How did you know? Then I know I could help. Right, it has, this has to remember everything. Um, if you watch my sessions, it's always like, oh, consistency, right? It has to work. Yep. Otherwise, it's a throw, right? So if you die to this fizz here, we would say that's a throw for sure, right? Right. Um, so how do you know you can help this LeBlanc? What concrete kind of idea tells you that um, you can help her do whatever she wants, like a team fight? I don't know. Get her, let, help her get escape. Heal. Oh, that's not very. That's not a very strong reason. Right, okay, sure, two v one, but it wasn't. It wasn't two v one, right? It was two v two. Chompers. Yeah, that's not a very good reason either. I, I'm saying. I'm not saying there is a reason. I'm saying, is there a reason? No. <laughs> yeah, that's how. That's how I know this is kind of. Uh, it's not gonna make sense because let's say it works out, right? Let's say it works out, but we have no idea why it works out. Then how do you do that again? You don't. Right. So it's kind of. It doesn't make sense to me to go for something like this when we're not sure what's going to happen, right? <coughs> right. It's like... Um, Whereas if I was to hit the tower, I know for a fact that I would be getting value. <coughs> right, right. You always know that's going to be good because no one can stop you here, right? So the idea is kind of, um, if you wanted to do this, you have to, at the very least, look at what's going on, right? Like an indicator could be physics, you know, 100 health, right? Then you can say, okay, we can go. Right, but right. we don't know. We don't know what's going on. We don't even know if he has OT or flash. Right, we don't know. We don't have information here, so we can't kind of make a decision to have a questionable result based on no information. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so even though it worked out really well here, surprisingly, right? Um, <laughs> she got the she got the chain off. Fizz missed his OT, and then Leeson came. It seemed really good. But the problem with this is that you go through the you try and help your team like this through this tower. I'm telling you, like eight times out of ten, nine times out of ten, you guys are all gonna die. Right. Unless right. the fight started out so good, which it did not, right? Unless the fight started out so good, like you're killing everyone here. And even then, you guys are still um, liable to die, right? I've seen that so many times. Like, how many times have have you seen this picture? Mid comes or like some kind of TP and jungle comes and everyone dies, right? Right. Same with the other way around, right? Is uh, The reason why is because it just it doesn't work unless you have something so good that, to make it work. They didn't insta-die, so I'm like, this is not working, right? In my eyes, in my eyes, I'd be like, this does not seem good. Not only that, but your, your jungle's on the other side of the map, so. And they have a Shen ulti, right? <laughs> There's a lot of reasons, right, as to right. why it shouldn't work. And we don't really have any good reasons as to why it does work. So, that's the problem here, is that it doesn't seem very consistent, but. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> okay, we come back and try and push this out. Sure, I think that's fine. Do, 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 do. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, You don't want to ulti this, I don't think. Nope. <laughs> okay. I better not ulti that. Let's take a look at what's going on here. What should you do here? Uh, push the wave. Yeah, how do you know? <laughs> because they're mid. Uh-huh. And uh, how do you know you're not needed mid? It's The numbers are too big, so it wouldn't matter because Agreed. Lee Sin dies. Right, and there's no fight going on as well. So 
it's not like they're gonna take tower or anything, right? So we shouldn't come here. Um, <coughs> should not be going here. And then you know because this is happening, uh, let's say best case scenario, you share farm with LeBlanc. That's pretty reasonable, right? Right. So best case scenario, we're already losing because uh, we're losing a bunch of minions bot for no reason. You know, missing XP, missing CS. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. So um, we don't want to go by here. Oh. Rest in peace. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's what I was expecting the first time, right? Yeah. Uh, at their tower. So. Yeah. Uh, here is just you already know. So how do you know in the moment? Like what? What told? You, what made you do this? I'm not what sure. What made me do this? I honestly could, don't know. You because, told me like immediately, right? Yeah. Because in <clears throat> in the past couple days, I've been not doing this. So. This is a uh, this is from earlier this week, so ah, I don't know if okay, I still okay. had. But yeah, I should not have gone there. I don't know why I did. Maybe I got confused <clears throat> because I know I know I watched the video of yours where you said if your number matters, then go. Right, because, right, right. Because before I would actually never go. Oh, even if my number did matter. So I've been trying to like, okay, does does it matter here if I go? Yes or no? And then. I think I a lot of what I do is bad habits from the many years of playing in the same elo. Fair, 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 fair. Makes sense. So, right? I mean, that's that's most people oh, you would say, right? Right. So sure, we can talk about this though. Uh, is there anything? Is there anything uh, interesting about this picture? Uh, playing too far up. I don't know. <laughs> well, why is it too far up? You see jungle's top. You see that. Uh, you guys should be okay, right? Let's right. say you just just two v two. Right. Would okay. there any be would there be anything scary about this picture? I don't have summoners. And then Tristana has <laughs> red buff. Uh, uh the red buff we'll say it doesn't matter as much as um we kind of are lacking summoners, true. But in a two v two situation, uh let's say, you know, they jump on you, right? Uh right. are you ready for this? Yeah, I mean I figured Brand would just do his combo because he's six and Leona isn't. So, right. So let's see. So let's see what's happening here, right? So she e's you, and then yep. Brand aims Tristana, right? And then what if she flashes this? If Tristana flashes the WQ combo, right? Then I would die. You just you just automatically dying, right? There's no way right. for you to 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 do this, right? So the reason why you guys win this is because he has this crazy fly, he has this crazy damage off, and you're you're still dying, right? You're almost still dying. She could fl she could do something like if she got her ulti off, I don't know. It's, it's like uh, it's not consistent, right? And the reason right. why it isn't consistent isn't because oh you have to rely on your support to land a skill shot, which you know kind of is, but it's because you can't reliably land a skill shot. They have to go first, right? Okay. You can't reliably land. Um, uh, CC skill shot, right? The the only exception is like they don't know it's coming because it's from a bush or something like that, right? You need to so, increase your chances somehow. So if you were here, right, mm -hmm. and you push to their turret, would you just back off then and wait for them to push back or bounce the so way back? Like the idea is, let's say we want to hit this, right? What's the plan here? Oh, we know that if Leona goes on me, Tristan is going to try and follow up. How is she going to try and follow up? E W. Anything like, oh, maybe she's jumping in or maybe she's walking forward, right? right. So if you want to do this, right, then you say the instant Leona is, we're going to trap between her and Leona, like Leona and Tristana, so she can't jump forward or something like that, right? right. That would be acceptable, right? You need a plan. You need some kind of plan, though, is, is what I'm trying to say. Maybe I would okay. probably switch to rocket form and uh, do this more safely, right? Um, that's the idea, though, is is you need to come up with something, right? And here, I don't think we're, we're prepared, right? I think it, it seems like Brand kind of saved us from whatever's going on here because you would know that trapping Leona doesn't really do anything, right? Right. We would need to aim the... the we, we need to do what Brand is doing, which is aim Tristana because maybe she can uh, flash one, but maybe not two. I don't know, something like that, right? Some kind of reasoning. You need some kind of reasoning to tell you that we can do this and nothing they do can beat this, right, is the idea. Does that make sense? Yeah. You need to come up with something. I don't really care what it is. The first step is you got to come up with something, right? And then let's say your plan is we're going to trap Leona and back off. And then if you die to this, you, now you know why that doesn't work, right? It's because if you CC the engager after they've blown everything, then, you know, it doesn't do anything because right. they already landed their stuff, right? 
Right. <laughs> and like, the owner is uh, tanky, so it doesn't. <clears throat> right, right, right. If anything, you would want to use it to let to stop her from getting away if you're winning. If you're winning the failed engage or whatever, right? So it's like uh, the uh, common the common example is like uh, oh, Malphite ulti is into your team. Do you CC Malphite or the AD carry that's going to follow up? <laughs> oh, are you going to hit this? This is a hard I sometimes baby. do. Yeah. Uh, nice try. I okay. think he, yeah. We would say this is fine because you don't really, you just killed someone, right? You don't really need it down here, right. I would say. So we would say that's acceptable um, because, you know, fast forward and 20 seconds. Not bad. Right. I would say. Um, not bad. If they were if they, if they they were still alive, bot though, I definitely would not use it. Because um, right. it's definitely something you might need to, uh, oh, there's a fight going on here. Definitely would still need to. Oh, this is winning, right? You have more people. Yep. Jax just has to stay alive and uses fat winning. Oh, oh, they're getting baited. Go. Team, go forward. Go forward, team. All right, okay, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. I'll just what push you can, wave, I think. What you can do to influence this is, what What do you think? Probably alt. Uh, influence, like, how do you tell your or team ping. to go? Yeah, yeah, Hard spam ping, ping. forward. Like spam ping. If you know there's 100% winning, you just spam ping, and we are going in, boys. Because um, <clears throat> Leeson will not back off here if you spam ping. Right. Hopefully. Hopefully. Maybe. Um, as long as he's not insta-dying, he should take that. Right. Maybe take a flash kick. I don't know. Something like that. He's probably winning. It's actually weird because he wasn't even the one getting charmed. It was Jax. Hmm. So why he didn't take it is actually... It's because... Um, you look at this picture. Let's see. Right here. Where's the picture? Do you go in this as Lee? If you get stunned in the face, are you dying? You're probably dying, right? I mean, you could insect that and... <laughs> Do some nutty plays. Let's be real. What if he doesn't have flash? Or you can actually get interrupted during the insect play. If he didn't. Oh, uh, that's true. That's if true. she presses Q and right clicks, you can actually get a... <laughs> it's not... It actually doesn't work. So there's some there's some counterplay here. So it doesn't look good, right? It's about okay. consistency. So in, in his mind, he, the 5v... He thought maybe it was like 5v5. It doesn't look good. I would agree. But you had more people, maybe. Maybe you could find a way to stall. I don't know. But um, there's potential there. I wouldn't blame him for not taking it. Okay. Remember, you, it's not about you know going for every possibility. It's about not not giving, not throwing, basically, right? Because the enemy team will, is guaranteed to throw. Oh, speaking of which, you guys are throwing, right? We're throwing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, starting dragon randomly is definitely a throw, I would say, right? Right. Oh, this is really awkward, isn't it? Can we get away? Oh, yes, we can. Tristan is boosted. Oh, do you want to fight this? I don't think so. No, not You're so close. dead to taunt to flash. Oh my no. god. How are you over. not dead? There's no way he... Oh my god. This is totally a flash from Shen. All right. <laughs> Let's talk about this. So what's going on here in this picture? Uh, I kind of stand around for a second because I'm watching mid. And then <laughs> Tristana comes over. Okay, and sure. Then Lee's fine. doing his own thing. Right. So we're trying to deal with this Tristana. At what point do you know you can't win? Right when Shen ults. So what should you do? Run the hell away. Uh, he's just trying to leave, right? Um, so, uh, honestly, I don't know what to say about this except that uh, you don't really want to watch mid, right? Right. I think is 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 an idea here. Um, I shouldn't look around until like I'm no, unless I'm like safely farming minions or something. Yeah, and you should know. Maybe... Right, right, right. I'll, I'll give you. I mean, this probably doesn't happen often, so we don't have. To, I don't think we will have to worry about too much. It's just just kind of weird, right? Right. Um. Sure, we're mid. Do we tell LeBlanc to go side lane? Hopefully. Maybe? Uh, I don't know. Bot lane's oh. pushing up really hard, but I think she does it on her own. We, she can go eventually. Uh, you guys can si find some kind of fight here, probably. Right. Oh, my God. I oh. just flash out of that. That is fine. I would say it's acceptable. Why do, you, why do you guys lose this? What do you think? Too many too many enemy teams. Right, Nobody so on our team is here. Man, man advantage, right? Yep. This, how many people? What do you think? Quick calculation. <laughs> I mean, it's 4v2. Uh, if not, it could be if... Okay, 3v2. Right. If uh, not, it could be 5 with Shen teleport. 3v4, right? 3v4. Because you yeah. can't see where they are. So, And the reason why Lee doesn't count is because he's busy doing a camp or something like that. I don't know. But this fight is so fast that uh, he definitely doesn't count, I would say. So that's kind of awkward. So, you know, what, what, how did, what caused this situation? What do you think? Pushing the lane. Okay, no, you're safe here, right? I'd say. Yeah. What did you do after this that uh, kind of made things 
awkward. I push forward. Right. Um, so if, Le- if Leona's standing here, what's going to happen? What do you think? She ults me. Yeah, we can't see, we can't dodge you because you can't see it, right? That's yep. the problem. Um, so what what's the big idea here? Uh, you only go you only siege tower after you push if you know it's good, right? If you right. see my sessions that are like, hey, don't hit tower. Um, yeah. Massive mistake. This is why because they're over the wall, right? This is a free engage by them. And the reason why it's a mistake in solo queue and non competitive is because in competitive, Lee Sin's standing right here. And you guys are calling it, and you're like, "Hey, we're gonna beta fight right now, right? Something right. like that, right?" But in this case, solo queue never works, right? It doesn't it doesn't work that way, right? Um, so what's the problem here? Oh, uh, we we should kind of I don't want to say we should like direct our team in terms of what we should do, but that does help you get better in terms of habits, right? If you know you shouldn't you shouldn't keep pushing, you could do something like back ping twice, and then we ping towards rift tower. We're gonna go ward, right? So right. yeah, going down here, why would we not ward do this? Why would I not word this? What do you think? <coughs> Dragon's not up. Right. That's it. Basically. We don't care about this side of the map. I mean, we kind of care about this, but uh, your pink should be where? That's not your pink. That's Your pink shouldn't be there. Where, where should your pink be if you're trying to fight for Rift Herald? Uh, it could be one bush up from the one at the top left of the oh, screen. Okay. I'll say pixel bush is fine. Um, but or even the bush you... behind that one. I would do this one, right? Yeah, yeah. Even that one up there is good, but this one is probably... I mean, this is exactly what this is, right? Yeah. Having a pink there guarantees they can't see. Oh, here comes brand combo to the face, or at least an insect, right? So that's the idea, is uh, you want to go, if you don't know what to do, push out, and then try and get words on the objective, right, is the idea. So here we have some kind of inaccuracy. Um, I don't know what brand is doing, but he dies. Uh, so that's kind of awkward. But yeah, uh, sure, we clear. Uh, it looks like it wasn't too bad, right? But uh, if we see the same habit, okay, we don't. Never mind, we're good. Um, oh. What's up? What's up with this one? Uh, I don't know where they are, but... Oh, surprise. All right. So even if Lee and, you know, LeBlanc and Brand are coming, you can get one shot here if you're not careful. Right. Because uh, it's not only Fizz, but also Eve, right? So we had a nice save here, honestly. But this could have re- really been bad in my opinion, right? Like uh, right here, if he comes out, you know, we got a problem, I think. Or over the wall. I would say is probably the most common, would you say? Yeah. I will say that's the most common. I would say this is Fizz, and Eve is behind you. So, um, remember, when so, you, like, hit tower, you have to be ready for every way they can come at you. Like, literally every possibility. That's why hitting tower is such a disaster most of the time. Right. So, so yeah, I'll say. You, you would probably, if you were me, you would have pushed this wave, and then probably gone to, like, chickens, or... No, no, no. Even, we can't like, do... Roam over to Lee. We can't do chickens, right? Because Eve could be there, for example, right? And, uh, you know, you're actually taking too much damage from it, I would say. So but what would you do? We could would sit you on just Rift wait around? Okay. Right? Let's, say, uh, let's say they don't pick up these minions, so we can't start Rift Herald because we don't know where they are, right? Right. Then how many, did they, you know, how many minions did they just lose? You know, <laughs> someone on their team is losing money, right? So, okay, they don't show up. You go back mid, push again. What happens? They're going to do the same thing? So, no, they're going to go pick it up this time, right? In which case, you guys can pretend to do Rift Herald or actually do it, right? And what, what are they going to do? You guys, you guys are in a winning position. It's the idea of that you want to put yourself, you want to give yourself every advantage possible before a fight, right? So, if they take that fight where they face check Rift Herald, who's going to win on average case? If we think? start Rift Herald? Yeah, no, if, yeah, if you guys are at Rift Herald, you don't, they don't even know if you're starting it, right? If they face check, who's going to win? Nine oh. times out of ten. Right, I would agree, you guys. Let's say this is the opposite, though. We're hitting tower. Who's gonna win nine times out of ten? Them. Right, because their engage is pretty. You know, it could come from anywhere. Right. Um. So it's about putting yourself in a spot where you give your chair, you give yourself the most likely chance to win. Right. Um. So this is like uh, we would say unlikely to win because of this. Right. Which is lucky that uh, Eve is not here or something. Right. She was like doing a camp. I don't know what she's doing. It's like true. We saw Leona top. But uh, it doesn't mean that everyone else doesn't exist. So, okay. So this is so this play right here is actually Let's sort see. of in my mind. I think of it as you're making a scenario where they have to do something or they lose something. Okay. Right. right? That sounds good. So they have to respond to this uh, minion wave or they lose right. the gold. Right. Agreed. Or, but then if you wanted to take the opposite, then it would be like let's say you push bot bot lane wave to their turret 
and then you pink both of the bushes and know that they have to face check, and then Brand can like EQW alt combo in right. person, buddy. Right, exactly. And that would be creating a winning position for us. Yes, hundred percent. Right, like okay. remember that's why we say push past the river. If they don't pick it up, they're losing minions. Right. So the example you just created was uh, we pushing past the river. They're gonna go pick it up. You know, everything's pink. Brand one shot someone. That seems pretty good, right? How do they beat that? Send more people, and you have no idea until people start showing up, right? Uh, so this is pretty much back and forth trying to read what the enemy is doing. But in this case, yes, you know, um, hitting tower is the same thing you described, except we don't have a way out. If right. Come, right. And then we can do the same thing by hitting Rift Herald or pretending to hit Rift Herald. Is that, like you said, they're losing something if they don't do it, if they don't do something, right? If they don't stop this Rift Herald, we're just going to get it. I, I think that's fine, right? Um, yeah, so that's the basic idea. And then, oh, fight breaks out. <clears throat> Seems good. Oh, that's a. Uh, oh my god! No way. Oh my god, do you see this? Do you see how fat. Do you see what Brand did? Brand. What Brand did? I mean, he dodged the Leona ult. No, 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 no. What did he do to make him not that at Eve? You mean Lee Sin? No, no, no. Brand, Brand, Brand. Oh, he's thunder. Yeah! He cast Dude, an ulti in her face. I didn't even notice that. Right, right, right. There's no way oh he lives there. Oh, my gosh. It's just that uh, he had the fat RQ right into her face, and then uh, he got away. Isn't that insane? That was pretty sick. The absolute legend. The madman. She's flashing. I didn't her. even notice that. Holy crap. Oh, you got her. Nice. That was quite a yeah. good zap, right? That's why we hold on to it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was perfect, dude. That was so clean. Wow. One direction no. cannot dodge, right? This is the classic. Yep. This this is why. They'll, they'll, you will find an opportunity to land it, right? Um, okay, yep. push mid. Good, good, good. Everything good so far. Um, okay, sure. Rift Herald is fine. Oh, my lord. People are dying, though. Is it yeah. fine? I hate these fights because Did people get long? all... They oh. go in every direction, and I don't have peel. This does not, uh, you want to stop doing this Rift Herald unless you think you can finish it now. Okay, nice. We got it. Sure. And then team loses fight. All right, what do you think that a lot of weird things are happening? Because we haven't gone back. Let's say. Or people are say... not on the same page of what they want to do. No, no, I think there is relatively same page, right? Let's say, right after you kill this Leona, right? Yeah. If you start Rift Herald, can they stop you? No. Agreed. Okay, so what's the difference between now and this? I started pushing. Well, or, not just well, that. No, no, no. So... What's the difference? This, give them, this gives them time, and they know where they ah, are. Ah, yeah. You guys used your time. Basically, when you find an advantage, you use that time to do something, right? So right. you guys use that time to pick up a wave and a camp and set up some kind of bush camp, right? And then uh, that's it. You have no more time. So if you try and do something like Rift Hero, they're going to come stop you, right? Right. So that's the because problem. Now, is that... now Eve is up. And <laughs> yeah, now they, yeah, now they, <laughs> yeah, now they're all alive. So it's like, oh, um, now you started? I don't know. Uh, it's good that you wanted a base. So how do you recognize this? You spam back ping, right? Um, right. But yeah, that's the reason. It's not. This is not your fault. We would say it's not your fault. It's just uh, we can maybe influence it if we see something like this. Um, wow, that was a fat hit. Let me watch this. You see this? Oh Shoot. my god! Storm Razor into the back. But yeah, um, it's the idea of when you when you win a fight, you get something now and then you base. Right. That's the idea. Right. So you guys tried to do too much. It was uh, really strange. So. Uh, you guys did get away with it. I don't think you should have, but honestly, I don't even know if you guys did get away with it. People are dying, right? Right. You, get, you guys gave away too much money yeah, for we, that to be worth. Yeah, now we give away mid turret. Right, right. Oh, what is this guy doing? Monka S. <laughs> oh, oh, Tristana? Nice traps. Good traps, good traps. Yeah. <clears throat> good stuff, good stuff. All right, now uh, we just submit, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I think doing camp is fine. Leeson's dead. Push mid is fine. Sure. Oh, oh, okay. This seems, uh, you don't have a Jax here because he went top. So this is, uh, okay, never mind. This is winning now. I saw Leona. So Leona used all of her abilities on me. So I figured I was pretty safe here. Or not oh. on me. 
it's not about safe. It's more about how many people are here, right? Right. So how many people do they have? Uh, for sure one, but probably five. Uh, it can't be five. Oh, cause Fizz was pinged at the bottom. Uh, no, no, no. He's on the way. I would say. Oh, four. Tristan is dead. Yes, Tristan is dead. How do you know that your Jax is not coming? Or how do I know your Jax is probably not coming? Because it's so lucky. <laughs> no, he's just yeah. He's he's going for the wave, right? Yeah. And how fast? How fast did you guys make this decision? You didn't even give him time to turn around, basically, right? So he's not coming, right? He's not coming. Right. This is a this is a three v four Mocha S, and then how do we know it's good? At what point is it good? Like right now, it's bad, right? Okay. How do you know? What point do you know that you guys can go forward? Eve dies. Yeah, just one. She gets one shot, right? Right. So you guys, oh, it seems pretty free now, I would say, right? You just got to make sure that uh, Fizz doesn't come up from behind, and then you guys just kill them all, I would say. Oh, wait, yeah. hold up. Fizz came up from behind. <laughs> oh, run. Oh, you're dead as fuck. All right, so actually it wasn't good, right? right? Even with the one shot, it still wasn't good, I would say. I would argue that, uh, actually, is it good? No, nope, definitely not. Never mind, Tristana's getting killed. Oh, I was yeah. going to say, maybe it's good because Jax got a lot of money, but Tristana, <laughs> it's not good. It's def definitely not good, I would say. Um, so, yeah, how do we, how do, uh, what do we do when we see this kind of stuff? What do you think? Mm. So, right here. Right. Probably back ping. Yeah, team. spam back ping. Yeah, that's how yeah. you influence your team's decisions, right? Um, if you ever watch me play, whenever I see something I think is really dumb, spam back ping, right? And if they keep going, it means they think it's so good, they're going to they're gonna ignore you, right? Which means it probably is good. And if they don't think it's that good, they're going to back off, right? So yeah, this is all just disaster. There's no way it's going to work, essentially. Like, I mean, in the middle of the fight, let's say you really wanted to help, then you would know something like, we're going to run away from Fizz who's coming up from behind because, you know, right. he came from that side of the map, but... Uh, it shouldn't really get to that point, in my opinion, right? Oh my god, he's doing the same thing that got him killed the first time. You see this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, he's I mean, sneaking it. Uh, they I think mean, they can see him, but he's sneaking it, dude. Yeah, yeah but he's got uh, a pink word. Where's the pink word? <laughs> I don't know. Um, seems really strange. He gets away with it, but whatever. Um, oh, is this Monka S? No, your whole team is here. Um, I gotta make sure you don't get fizzed. Uh, uh, why are you not scared of this? Are you not scared of this? Did we see him before? Mm -hmm. You should be scared of that. Fizzed? No. Oh, yeah. Just over the wall, you know? Yeah. That's truly a uh, Monka S, I would say. Okay. What's going on here? 5v5? Ooh, Brand's dying. Oh, this is, gonna be, this is a good trade. I'll take it. Mid lane for the yeah. support. All you got to do is hit the close guy. He's automatically winning. Oh, Tristan is dead as fuck, right? <gasps> He's dead as fuck. Please kill me. Kill, kill, kill him all. Flash for him. It's okay. You don't have to flash for him. She has like, no jump. You can take your time with this. Oh, fat ulti. Oh, oh, that's so good, dude. Uh, yeah, that's so good, dude. That's I tight. told myself, I actually remember this fight now. In my head, I was like, I wish I would have flashed. Right when that's, you said the dude, flash, I was like, I wish I would have flashed right so there. I, I, this, is the, this is the reason why we say um, missed opportunities are always better than throws, right? Because right. even if it's a missed opportunity, you guys just slaughter them anyways. Right. Versus what did the watch this Tristana versus this? Which would you rather have? The jinx or the Tristana? Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh <laughs> Which would you rather have, right? Uh definitely me. Yeah, definitely you. Like oh, you just died for free. All you have to do is not do that. You're just winning the game, okay? You wanna do some you want if you get to the point where you need to work on oh you, you had to flash it to win the game. You're getting to my level, okay? So okay. don't worry about that. Right. You're doing really good. Definitely doing really good. obviously if you see the opportunity and it's really good, you can go for it, right? Uh, but you don't have to worry about missing stuff like that, All right? Uh, okay, hold on. We should worry about this though. What's going on? Yeah. Uh, here we try and push for the advantage, and then with so, yeah. Rift Herald. So you guys got. But your, obviously uh... they're gonna be up soon. So <laughs> once we get this turret, we just need to leave. Right, 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 right. Um, and you always, if there's a question of can we get it or not, you always give them the benefit of the doubt. You cannot get it. Right. right? Because what's the downside? Let's say the best case scenario is you get the tower, you get away. Right, you guys, everyone bases and they run to Baron and you have no wards. That's the best case scenario. You guys lose Baron control. That's not yep. good, right? Worst case scenario, everyone dies, they get Baron, right? Which is probably what's going to happen. Um, everyone's dying. I mean, they're going to get Baron control. Oh, everyone is dying, by the way. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> 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 what? What? Did you, you bait this? it? Yeah, dude. 
His He's damage. You, remember that thing you asked me earlier where you're not scared of this, and then Lee Sin does the exact thing, like, twice? Yeah, but, I mean, she can actually just one-shot you, right? You know how? What do you think? Can you come up with a way on Eve? Uh, she flashes the Q. Okay, I would say that's one, but right here, she can still do it. What she? Alt? What did she miss here? Alt. <laughs> yeah, she can just ult it. <laughs> so... Uh, Monka S, but yeah, uh, so what happened here? You guys just stay too long. How do you know? You should only, you don't have time to do one thing. That's what you should think. You have time to do one thing, and then once you get it, you start running, and then if they're still all dead, you can reevaluate. Okay, that's how I did it. Is okay. you, one thing, everyone stops, unless they're still all dead. So even if I was to back off here, and then they're all still dead, not doing whatever, then I could probably go top maybe and push that out. Right, you can do a lot of things, honestly. You can just base and go run to Baron, right? You, you have a lot of options is the idea, right? Um, right. You know, the, the worst thing you can do is just stay when you shouldn't stay, is essentially, because it's just mad throwing. Because um, look at this. I don't know what's going on, but you guys didn't even get the tower, and now game's kind of out of whack again, right? You guys were winning. I would say you guys were hard winning at that point. And now it's back to even, right? <laughs> so it's kind of strange, in my opinion. Um, oh, you don't want to go by here. Why? Give up Baron control. Right. You can't go bot. It's not your job. Whose job is it? Jax. Agreed. So you stay mid, right? What if Jax doesn't go? You still don't go. You take you take you take camps or whatever. Right. Uh, unless they're literally ending the game, it's not your job to go. Okay. You need a you need to stay to this side of the Baron, unless there are exceptions, right? Let's say your team has no TP and they can't do Baron or something like that. Then you can go. Right. Okay. Um, and you can't die while going. Right. <laughs> a lot of there's a lot of things has to happen. Or maybe. Or here's another exception is. Um. Uh, let's say you think you can go and get to Baron in time. Then you can go. Right. Um. Uh, let's say their jungle is dead, so you know they can't Baron. Okay. This is fine. Right. You gotta have some kind of reasoning though. It can't be just because you want the minions when Baron is up. Before, if Baron is not up, you can say this. But uh, Baron kind of warps the game. Right. Oh, trolling. Four v five. Don't help this. Right. Unless you see something so good. Oh, this is pretty good, actually. You can help this. Yeah. There's a fat ulti somewhere. Oh. Oh, no. We need a reset. Wait. What the hell? Wait. You need to run. If you don't find something now, you need to run, dude. Oh, my God. You do not want to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my uh, God. Well, you guys found it I eventually. Don't even know. That was the only reason why yeah. we thought it was good is because they were low, right? Okay, whatever. It works out. Um, sure. Uh, the idea is uh, this is really interesting because it's 4v5, right? Right. So I would say you don't want to do this until I see this. This looks so good. Maybe you can do something. Right. Right. But if you can't do something within the next three seconds, you need to run. Right. Because right. then they yeah. just back off and then reset and then they can go do Baron. Right. They're going to have all their cooldowns, right? You're going to get baited yeah. into chasing, right? So. Yep. If this like if I did, if you did not find something now, I'm out. I'm going out this way, right? I'm running out, boys. Um, I think that's what I did. But then all of a sudden I see Eve too, and I'm just like, dude, right? this is. I mean, yeah, it's just it's just not good. Like reason being, she can just ignore Jack's run for you. Shen has some kind of flash play. I don't know. There's a lot of ways this can go wrong, right? Um, you just need to get something now, or you're out. Okay, so Tristana kills herself. <laughs> Seems good. Oh, is she out? I think she's out. You can't get her. Push mid, right? You don't want to hit that guy. You want to push mid. Okay, good. Oh. Then they uh, go back in. Seems good. Oh, okay. We can kill this guy for free. <laughs> yep. Can you even kill this guy? I don't think so. You should not try. Oh, look at that damage, though. Never mind. You're so... You're killing this guy? You're actually killing No, this guy. I let him. No, yeah, I, let yeah him. I didn't think so, right? There's no way, honestly. Yeah. Uh, because if you had played that any, like, closer, she's, he's just going to taunt you. You're going to die, right? <laughs> right. So that's good, right? I, I just I just knew there's no way you could get him for some reason. Um, uh, it did not seem good. It did not seem good. All right, and then uh, so I oh, what's do you think here? that wasn't greedy? This right here taking red buff, yeah. I feel like from what you've been saying, you well, kind of just take one thing. So well, look who's dead. Eve. Okay, and who's who? Where is Fizz? Mid. So who can stop you? Uh, Tristana. Okay, I agree. Tristan is here. How many people do you have? And you just checked the bush. We have so, three. Does this seem good? I'll say it seems yeah, good. Yeah, I guess. There's yeah. no way for them to stop you. That's the idea is that there's no way for them to stop you, right? The reason why we say take one thing is because, usually speaking, uh, after you take that one thing, they spawn, they're going to come stop you, right? But it seems like right now, uh, not only have they not spawned yet, but Fizz is already doing something. 
Leona is not reacting at all. And I don't know where Tristana is, but um, you already checked the spots. So she can't be here, right? That's not greedy. There's no way for them to stop you, is the idea. Okay. If there's a way for them to stop you, definitely don't do it, right? Um, okay, we can do crab here instead of pushing mid. I think that's fine. Um, because you weren't losing any minions mid. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that's definitely not your fault. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so I think uh, we're doing good. It's just that... Um, how do we say this? If we can tell our team what to... If you can become a team leader, you can win every game, essentially. Okay. Right. Did, did you... Uh, I don't know if you watched my stream or anything, but uh, I was playing like unranked a challenger, and you can't always win lane, right? So yeah. how do you win the game after you win lane? I just spam ping, tell my team what to do, right? So we're right. actually... This is, <laughs> this is one of those games where you could have prevented all the disasters by spam pit back pinging, if you noticed it in time. You have to notice it before it happens, right? So like, say for example, how do you know this is a disaster here? Right here, what they're doing right now? Uh, cause they're all up. Right. it's 4v5. Yeah, yeah. Right, 4v5, numbers advantage. Okay, spam back ping, right? And then, uh, if they keep going, it means they can one-shot someone. So, the reason why they die is cause, you know, they're not paying attention. You can pay attention for them. Right. But honestly, um, you don't need to do that to win solo queue. It's just gonna help you a lot. I think. Okay. It's just a good habit to have, right? Okay. I think we can do dragon here. I think that's fine. Yeah. Um, sure, sure, sure. We can even pick up bot because your team has so much control over the Baron. We should be okay. Uh, oh, you're basing for something? What are you basing for? Uh, I mean, basing is actually probably better base. than walking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is fine, right? I just figured it was okay. safer because I don't know where Fizz is. Okay. If we want to talk about itemization and mechanics, I don't think we need to, but maybe something like a stopwatch here could win you a fight. Or anything along those lines, but uh, wow, you just gets one shot. All right, let's just push mid here, right? Uh, yeah. Why yeah, would I say push, push mid, mid and not Baron? Um, probably because they have a lot of AOE alts. Uh, okay, that's kind of true. They can. They, there's some way to stop you. Uh, if you do Baron, who can tank it? Who can tank it? Yeah. Maybe Jax. We don't really have a tank. Right, exactly. <laughs> we don't really have a tank, right? So uh, if you do it, you got to finish it or this turn has to be so good you guys aren't dying. Because uh, if you try if you try and face tank it uh, and they come stop you, that's going to be really bad. You guys are not going to have any HP, right? Right. Well, well, nice debate. All right, let's watch this. All right, 5v4. We don't even have to watch this. They just all die, right? Let's fast forward. Yeah, um, yeah. That's, and then this, we take Baron. It, right, this is how you play League. It's just, you don't need to watch what happens as long as everything is pretty average. You just win because it's 5v4. That's how you want to play, right? Similar okay. with the whole go to Rift Arrow because they have to face check. You don't have to watch because you know, usually speaking, you're going to win, right? That's the that's that's kind of how you want the game to turn out, uh, in a sense, right? All right? Let's fast forward. You guys just run it down bot. I think that's fine. So really, the only big mistakes you've had, if you can call them that, is um, ideas of, uh, like, Man advantage and map awareness, right? Okay. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. I think that's. And, and don't really tower. Oh, fat ulti? He's gonna E. Yeah. I would yeah. not aim him, but. Yeah, after that, I I realized I should have just ulted against Shen. Yeah, this guy, this guy, this guy. Yeah. You never yeah. ulti Fizz. I, that's actually what I thought would have happened the first time when you ulted him in mid, is that he was gonna E. But um, how do you know he's gonna E? Well, he can. He can. Like, if there's counterplay, they will do it, right? Right. It doesn't matter what rank they're at, right? Look at this. <laughs> That was the cleanest dodge. That's like right? frame perfect. Yeah, that was insane, right? I mean, it's like, oh, he didn't have a rat. You can't say he doesn't have enough reaction time because I bet he's, he he's saw, not expecting the ult. Dude, he right? saw Brand with the alt Q right, on right. earlier, and he's like, listen, I got something better. <laughs> and then destroys me. <laughs> right, right. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, this is the this is the clear example. If there's counterplay, it does not matter what rank they are. They will find it, okay? Yeah, right, yeah. so this is a good example. Um, and the only reason why you die is because you got confused. You thought you were getting a reset, right? Um, right. So this. Sorry, fair. walk up. Right. Yeah. It's just the initial idea in the beginning was you know fire a rocket at someone who could dodge it. Right. So okay, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Everything else was fine up until then. Right. Um. Sure, sure, sure. Let's watch this again. I think it was really good. Yeah, I uh, saw Eve didn't go for me, so I was like, okay. Right. Well. <laughs> she's like uh i think we saw her over here though uh the only reason why i'm not saying she's behind you is because i think we see her somewhere right no do we not see her i don't think so oh uh, yeah she's behind you, <laughs> then so, I you should, lose. so let's say she's behind you what should you do what's your plan what would my plan be what do you think what would your plan be right if she's right here or behind you or anything like that 
flash the wall. Yeah, that's it. So what do you do? Stay next to the wall. Or okay. if you want to be super advanced, you want to go beyond my level, you stand here, and when the charm is going on you, you walk to the wall and then flash over, right? That that gets like right. that gets start that gets so dicey for me. I just like I just sit next to the wall, right? I have um, another would would you possibly run forward into your team? Uh you don't know where she is until she shows up at the last second, so you don't have time to process that, in my opinion. Right. She okay. could be up here, and if you pre plan going this way, you're dead. Right. The idea with the pre plan is that it should work in any situation. Like if you're not sure, it has to work no matter what. Like let's say you flash over the wall, she flashes after you, why does that not work? For her. Uh does the charm disappear after? Uh I would say um, or Lisa would, could help me. Where would she be standing when you flash over? Where would she be standing? On my traps? Uh, if she's coming, if you're Eve and you're going for this jinx, where do you stand? Do you stand here? Do you stand here? Do you stand here? Where do you stand? Probably right behind jinx. Like here, I would say. That's pretty reasonable, right? I would stand further down. Like down by here? The turret. Yeah. Right, right, right. So she's coming at you at a straight line, right? So you flash over, she has to line it up and then flash over. By that time, you're already walking away, right? Yeah. That's how you know it works. Okay, now here's... Now we're getting to the mind games of... Let's say she knows that and she's standing next to the wall. You flash over, she flashes over. You got all played. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Right, so... Yeah. Um, that's why these... That's why the assassins usually have the advantage is because they can do something like that. But they would need to be... So, like, they would need to read your mind in order to do that. Right. I just so. think I think of the play of walking into the team because then I can use Brand and Lee as body blocks. Um, it doesn't work because she can AOE you guys. <laughs> so, uh, not only that, but you don't have enough information up here to say you guys you can stand on top of your team. Okay. Right? Because what if she just flash ulties and Tristan is hitting Brand and then oh we got we got a lot of problems here, right? Um, right. Like you would have to know for some reason this is safe. I have no idea. And you, have, you not only do you have to know, you have to know within a second. Okay. Right? So I have no idea, right? So I would not, I would not go for that. It, it makes no sense, in my opinion, right? Like it's so much chaos. Look at this. Even the fizz ulti is on someone, right? I know. Um, so there's no way going into your team makes sense. I would say. I would say the pre-plan is this, and if she's smart enough to outplay me there, well, shit, you gotta keep going. You gotta put traps over and then flash over, right? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta. It, it gets really crazy, right? That's why League is such a uh, interesting game is because it's always a, a, a game of like how many moves can you see in the future, right? Um, right. Kind of like chess. Yeah. And not only do you have to see the move, you have to be able to execute it, right? So if you fail yeah. flash or you fail traps, it's like, oh, <laughs> that sucks. Um, yeah, most people can execute. It's just they can't really read in the moment, right? Oh, we're dead as fuck, right? Uh, no. What? I know. I think he botched his E. Oh my god, oh, no, he stood on he top of rooted. a trap. Dude, we got yeah. stuck. Oh my god, this is either next level bait or he's just retarded. <laughs> uh, <laughs> could be both. Because uh, he can E here, I think. This is range. Yeah. Right, so. Uh, I think he got really lucky there. So, what's the what's the problem here? What do you think? What's the main uh, problem? It's always There's always a main problem. Main problem. Okay, let's talk about this. How many people are at the fight? That's the first thing that always comes to mind whenever there's a question. 4v5. Okay, agreed. Um, so since it's 4v5, do you see anything so good you can win the 4v5? What do you think? Double stun? That's not good enough, in my opinion, right? Like, I mean, look at this. You guys are still dying. Right. So I guess we just, it's not a good fight. Right. Remember, it has to be one shot, right? So, so far it doesn't look good. You want to play super conservatively if you want to help, which you should. You should help this because it's late game, right? right. You want to play super conservatively. So what do you do? This is traps is perfect, right? Right. And then uh, what do we do that's not conservative? Walk forward. Yeah. So well, h how did that happen? We just right click Shen. So what? how do you kind of fix this? Uh, maybe when kite you, upwards. Right. When you play, um, when, they, when we talk about mechanics and look at your mouse movements, right? Where are you clicking? Where are you clicking? Oh, I click down to the bottom right. Right. Clicking into them. Up. Right. Yeah. You, click, you want to run away. So this is the idea of... Um, after auto attacks, your default is click behind. Have you heard of that idea? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a mechanical idea that I actually I did not figure out until the longest time. Actually, like I was already in challenge group before I figured this out. And this would actually cost me games, is what you're doing right now. 
right? In this exact jungle, I remember the exact moment I realized what this <laughs> meant was I was clicking Cassidy and it was like a misclick or something because I was like attacking and then moving up and I like ran into him on accident and we lost the game because of that. Right here. This spot up here. So I learned wow. that in this in this jungle area. This is the exact this is the exact same thing. We're walking into Fizzalty, right? You, so, you know what's interesting? I think by default a lot of us will actually do the back ping in lane when we're trading autos. Right. But not in team fights. Right. A hundred percent correct. I, that's exactly what I noticed too. Um so yeah, it's really interesting. I think it's a some kind of psychological thing. Um where since we're in team fights, things are happening so fast, we a click on them and a click near them. Right. Right. But since auto attacks are so slow or, you know, the game is relatively slower in lane, you have a lot of time to do things properly. Right. So, but yeah, here we just right click and then we just win. Oh, goodbye, Tristana. Oh, <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. So nice. So you guys won the 4v5 because uh, what was what was the point that you guys won? What do you think? Uh, Fizz botched right here. Right there. That, yep. was, that was basically it. Well, maybe not yet, but uh, I would say that you guys bought enough time for Brand to get here, so it's no longer 4v5. Yep. Right. So, yes, Fizz botching it. Definitely bought you guys the time you needed to uh, him for him to press R. <laughs> and LeBlanc using uh, Zanya's right, AP. Right, right, right. So, yeah, uh, you, don't, you don't really help. You want to play super far back and let them run into you. That's an advantage, right? Okay. Um, it's them chasing. So, here is just the clicks are incorrect, I would say. Uh, but, yeah, let's see uh, a different game. Is there another one you want to... Uh, another yeah, one that has so... priority? Yeah, so... That one was the best video for. That one is with Zaya. Um, I'd actually like to see Zaya, I guess. And then Wait, if we, yeah, yeah, okay. video four. Okay, let's take a look. But yeah, any questions so far? Makes sense. Does it make sense? Yeah, it makes sense a lot. Oh my god! Um, look at this. Look at this. Signature. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> yeah, I get a thing in chat every time, and it makes me so happy. That's so funny, dude. It's actually trolling, international trolling. All right, let's fast forward. Um, uh, so okay, really... this one oh, this yep. one comes with a question. I guess in general, how do I play with supports who are not? I guess not good, but like they just don't. I hate supports who don't want to do anything. If that makes sense. Right. So it's like um, the idea is kind of what do you do when you have a support that can't find any good opportunities or always loses the opportunity, something like that. Right. So what right. what do you think you should do? I mean, what should best, you do? In my in logically, it's just to just farm. Yes, right. It's, you can't do anything, right? What are you gonna do? One v two? I don't think right. that's. A th I don't think that's really a thing most of the time, right? right? So yeah, you don't do anything, right? Um, and then and then you know what happens if you lose? Well, what are you gonna do, right? Okay, he missed hook. We should back off, right? I think that's fine, right? You wait until they can actually land something. I promise you, as long as you don't flame them, they will find. The winning play sometime in the game i promise right. you i promise you. yeah yeah right? i know like back when i back when i was like climbing in like platinum diamond whatever uh there would always be like a time when i was like in middle school and i would like play my teammates right and then we would just lose right but then yeah. when i grew when i got older i just wouldn't say anything i'll be like oh nice try and stuff and then 30 minutes of the game he lands some kind of like blitz crank blitz crank yep. gets like a flash hook and then you guys win yep. again and i'm like this is the reward guys we did it <laughs> right i believed in you the whole time and then it, was like, no. it works it makes sense right so um the best thing you can do is just uh you know not say I anything guess, and yeah. uh, pray for pray for better future you know what i'm saying i um, i guess i just get too emotionally you know because like this nautilus here i remember he missed a couple <laughs> her hooks early and it's just like i'm like dude you're nautilus like come on big boy you know well, i mean that one landed so it didn't seem too bad yeah if anything we missed a follow up there i would say yeah, I should have set up another feather so I could E. Right, so actually there's a bigger picture here. This is why um, Zaya is not recommended for players before she, when she was good, and definitely not after she's not as good is this. What's going on here? Mm. I mean, why I could get hooked it, right here. No, no, no. Why is it that you can't root this Thresh? Because he walked out of the feathers. Uh, why did or why I is he allowed Q to walk really. out? Of, yeah, yeah, we yeah. were using Q randomly, right? It's yeah. like uh, like before with the Jinx W and the Jinx E, except that I guess, on Zaya yeah. it's like a lot more important, right? So right. Um, not only not only could we have used it to follow up, you can use it on Jin here when he's trying to. Follow I actually up. the other thing too though is so if you go back mm -hmm. when Thresh starts walking forward, 
Right, right. I noticed thresh do, Threshes do this a lot, where they literally just walk to my minions, and then will flay me and then hook me, and my support doesn't, you know. Well, I mean, I don't know the, if I just position. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. So, so like. So... Sorry, what were you saying? Keep going. I, I just, I don't know, because it happens a lot where Thresh or somebody else will just literally walk up, you know don't respect minions or anything and they still get a kill so i mean clearly they they know something that i don't right right that's exactly what i was going to mention is that uh let's say you have a support sona and they have a draven and he walks up and he does this you're dead right or you're losing all your hp right so let's say we're in this picture he walks up and does that who wins i mean we should because yeah but why okay because not autos and then and then he's drawing aggro for minions and then Nautilus hooks, and then... So what does yeah. that tell you about the nature of matchups? In terms of, why can Thresh do it sometimes and not always? Depending on who my support is. Right. Or, and, and to an extent, the AD carries as well, I would say. Right. right. Yeah. Very much based on your supports. So, so um, if it is Draven, and let's say I do have Sona, and he just walks up, then what do I do? Just concede lane priority? Right. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Win lane against Thresh Draven as a Sona Zaya lane? That's... <laughs> Like if you go win lane like that, everyone will pick Sona. What do you mean, right? You're, you're not guess, supposed yeah. to. That, that would be so insane that Thresh would never be picked and Sona would be picked every time because you just never win the game as Thresh, right? That matchup would be right. impossible, right? You, there's, you, basically, they have advantages that you should not contest because they have advantages, right? They, they're winning for a reason, right? Um, let's say, for example, you're pushing up as Jinx and they're playing Vayne and he presses R and runs you down. Is that fair? I mean, it's vain. Right, it's vain. So you, you shouldn't be taking duels. But let's say in a late game team fight, you get a reset off someone and then you minigun flash on her. Is that fair? Right? It's basically playing to your advantages, right? Um, okay. You're maximizing your opportunities to win. So pushing up against a vein who's just going to 1v1 you is asking to die, right? But getting a reset and then going on her is her not recognizing that you're getting a reset. You see what right. I mean? Right. You got to play around, play around what makes them strong. Right. So if he walks up and flays you and then they're doing some kind of trade or a cat trying to catch you or anything like that, uh, if you put yourself in a spot where you can get hit by that and you have a support that can't stop that, then that's that would be on you, right? We would say. Right. In this picture, if he does that, that's a big mistake because Nalus is gonna hit back real quick, right? <laughs> uh there's no way that's gonna work in this picture, right? It's basically matchup based, right? Okay. Or maybe he has a jungle coming and he's trying to debate you, right? You're like, oh, we have Nautilus, we're going to win. Lee Sin comes out. It's like, oh, Monka S. But uh, I don't know who they have, but they probably can't get here in time. Anyways, uh, you see what I mean, though, in terms of matchups, right? Yeah. So we can go over laning ideas, too, if you haven't seen any of my... Have you seen coaching videos with lane in them by any chance? Uh, Possibly a long time ago, but I haven't focused on laning matchups for a while. I, I, I still... I still... I've, I watch Skullcapped as well, so I still go through my head like, okay, they're probably going to combo with this but i never think about like i never think about it the way you just explained it all right we can um, go over that real quick hold up i actually want to see something real quick someone messaged me that i had a video up on here oh really yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. oh i guess it's not here maybe they meant the actual the I website the actual site yeah i'm right, 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 right. anyways it doesn't matter i did some video i did like I did. I worked with them for like two videos or something like that. But yeah, um, laning is. Uh, I mentioned laning in 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 in, in one of them. So um, we can talk about like this this idea of matchups, right? Because this might help you if you're wondering, you know, why can he do it sometimes and not always, right? This is definitely winning for you guys. Right? I, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just like I said, I just get frustrated because in the term in the case where it is, you know, me playing Jinx Sona versus Thresh Draven, and he literally just gets to walk up. I'm like, okay, do I just I can't do anything. So the reason why I didn't mention um, matchups is because you seemed like you were doing fine in the last game. So we didn't really have to do any. We didn't really have to talk about it, right? Um, oh, this is not winning, is it? Uh, oh, it is it. now. Yeah. After yeah. you dodged that one. That was hot. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, my God. He's not going to die, though. Don't flash for that. No. Oh, my God. He flashed for it. <laughs> Nautilus did, and then... Uh, yeah. You can still save it. It's fine. Woo! Yeah, that's why you shouldn't have flashed. He's going to heal, right? Oh, that was really yeah. bad because now you guys are dying at a gank. Uh, anyways, let's talk about laning. 
So, oh my god, you're a beast. Oh, you should have flashed for that one. Not like this. Oh, you guys are fucked now. Run, dude. The jungle's coming. Yeah, he comes. Can you push this out? No, you can't push this out. No. Time. Oh, no. I mean, you just give it up, dude. There's nothing you can do, right? Unless you could think you can 1v1 or 1v3. There's, oh, you can't after using mana. No way. Oh, I know my E comes back up. So, you're just so dead. But just yeah, Hecarim comes. All right, let's 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 talk about laning. So this is like something separate, but um, there are kind of two big important concepts for laning. Okay. The first is matchup based. Right. So what do we mean by that? You should play according to your matchup. So let's say you're Sona. Let's say. Uh, hello? Your mic might have muted. What the fuck? All right, I must have hit it on accident. Wait, what was the last <laughs> thing you heard? Uh, you said, let's say you're Sona or something let's, like that. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's say you have Sona Zaya, okay? And they yep. have uh, Thresh Jin. What do you want to do in this lane? In Sona Zaya, I would probably want to uh, poke with Sona. So I would just be looking for Q and E's while Jin is trying to last it. Right, so that's right. It's the idea of instead of poke, I would say, why would I say Sona's not poke? Let me, let me, let me, let me, uh... Oh, she's trade, isn't she? Because she can right. heal. She wants to trade. And uh, Q poke actually doesn't matter. She needs to land the auto attack for it to do anything, really. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. If you ever hear me talk about laning, it's always like, oh, I categorize my laners so I can play accordingly. Right. All so, in, poke, or catch. Right. And, or, uh, 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 wait, did we miss one? Poke, catch, and trade. Right, trade. Right. So, um, then Thresh is just trying to land hooks. Right. So if you guys are just trading over and over again, you guys win, right? That's how right. You, that's how you want to land. So in this picture, what if it's catch versus catch, right? What do you think? Then I just have to dodge Thresh's catch and then hope Nautilus can hit his. Right. Whoever lands more shit wins. Right. right. What about all in versus all in? You because everyone's gonna land everything then. Um. Minions. Hmm. They're not really going to matter in all-in versus all-in, usually speaking, unless there's a lot of minions. Or junglers. Uh, no, no, no. Everything is equal. Pretend everything is equal and it's 2v2. Try and bait them? Mm, how do you know who wins from the onset? From the onset? Let's say it's Leona and Alistar, and it's like Zaya and Jin. Right. Let's say Leona goes on Alistar. Who's winning? <laughs> uh, I guess it's really obvious, but... They are. Wait, they are? Wait, you have yeah. Alistar and they have Leona. Oh, if we have Al if if it's me, if I have Alistar and they have Leona, then we win. Right, why? The Alistar wins because Leona used her stuff on Alistar. Right, so, then so it was low value. Focuses, yeah. Right. Low value and failed engage. Right. This is a failed engage is the most important part because she can go on you and what happens if Alistar headbutts the Eddie carry away and you guys just hit Leona. Right. Right. So it's the idea of win. failed engage is the idea of uh all in versus all in, right? So, uh, whoever has the good engage on the onset wins. You know instantly, is this good or not? So, Alistar combos uh, the AD carry, and he's getting his E off, and you dodge Leona's shit, or you walk away. You guys can probably win that, right? Or if you guys are one-shotting on Ali combo, you guys can win that. But if Ali combos, and then, you know, it's too far away for you to do anything, you guys might be screwed, because it was not a good engage, right? So, let's say, let's say um, I do have, what was it, Alistar and Leona? Mm-hmm. So let's say I do have Alistar, and he goes on Leona. Do I just not follow? You spam back ping, and you're like, hey, we need to get out. We need to get out, buddy. Right? This is not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me, uh... Oh, actually, the, the VOD got deleted. <laughs> there is a game... Oh, God. There was a game in my, um... When I was doing Unranked to Challenger, where my Thresh would just randomly go in, and it was not good. So you just have to let him die. And he flamed me for it, but what are you supposed to do? Right? He was just... He just made a big mistake he doesn't know. Right. Okay. Big sorry. Yeah. It was pretty interesting. I have an, uh, the, uh, I, I've come to recognize that the lower the rank, the lower rank a person is, the more convinced they are that they're right, you know? Right. It's really interesting. you play with your buddies and, you know, all that other stuff. <laughs> all that other <laughs> stuff. I, I, yeah, I mean, like, I've been there myself. I know but... what you mean, I know what you mean. <laughs> uh, it's like, oh, someone says something and it's taken as gospel now, you know? Yeah. Um, but okay, you guys get a free, free catch, right? Fat catch, and he's taking minions. Seems good. You guys yep. land more stuff. It's pretty obvious. Right? Everything can be explained by matchup. All right, so do you know what the second part to laning is? The second most important part. Besides uh, wave matchup. Wave management? Uh, yes, pushing. Right? Being able to push or not. Right? 
So I think you're doing a good job with that. We don't really have to talk about that. Except when you push without flash and they're ganking you. Right. You already know that though. We we talked about that. Right. Yep. So So you, when you mean pushing, you mean lane priority? Uh right. Being able to push So right it. now right now they have lane priority because they Correct. have more minions. Yeah. Uh not because they have more minions, but because they can go do something. Right. I think lane priority is most generally uh, 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 defined as the, the the side that can do something, right? So let's say you're a Zyra yeah. Khan. Just because they have more minions doesn't mean they have lane priority. You can go instantly, like right now. You guys still have priority. It just looks like they have lane priority. You know what I'm saying? Um, so the side that can do something. So they can do something because they can, they can go ward. And you can't stop that, really, right? Um, without knowing where the jungler is and, and et cetera, et cetera, right? Oh, this is really bad. So you see something like this, you don't... Oh, actually, we saw Hecarim. Never mind. Whew. Yeah, I saw Hecarim top. That's good. Well, but actually, is there... ultimate, so... could this be a mistake? If uh, enemy top has TP or enemy mid has TP, right? Yeah, you always have that's to uh, always have to be super paranoid. So yeah, this is why I would not recommend Zaya to be honest, because um, uh, it's just like using she abilities is so important. She has four active abilities, and you can position feathers, right? So like, you know, is there anything we're doing here in this fight that could be suboptimal? Mm. So how many abilities were good value? Well, let's let's talk about it. When you press W here, how good is it? It's not. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you already you already know, right? It's just like uh yeah. you shouldn't use it, right? How about the Q here? It's It's not optimal, I guess. I just set it up for if they all end. Right, it doesn't do like, anything. They probably wouldn't, yeah. Right. You would rather have saved it than do fifty damage to him because you're losing mana for your your full rotation now, right? For being right. able to press all your buttons. So um yeah, the problem with Zaya is that not only do you have to focus on like wave management stuff and matchup and what you should be doing, but also when you do your execution, you can't screw that up either. Otherwise, no. all of that gets screwed. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. you're saying, oh, Eve comes around, I'm going to QSS ulti, and then you miss your QSS and you die. It's like, oh, or you miss your ulti and you die, or you miss your E flash, or I don't know. Anything like that is pretty, pretty strange, right? Okay, this seems reasonable. They don't know you're here. Uh, like we said, right? <laughs> He, I don't know. Like we said. Why. So, why do you think this? Why do you think? What do you happen here? I know what happened here, but what, what do you think happened here? If you go into a practice tool, you'll realize. What? It. Wait. W for feather auto. No, I missed. Wait, what? W for feather Q and then E. Why didn't he get rooted? If you go into a practice tool, you'll figure it out. But uh, I can give you the answer right now. Is that if you QE too fast, your Q is not coming back. It has to be timed. It has to be timed very well. Or past. There's like a sweet spot, and you have to hit the sweet spot yeah. or after the sweet spot. Right. If you yeah, do it too, too early. Yeah. Yeah. That's this is what's gonna happen. So if then you do this too must early. have been the first time that I messed it up that bad because I I usually don't. Right. So you see what I mean though? Why we don't recommend Zaya is because um, not only is she not that great. But you have the potential to screw stuff like this up versus right. like Jinx, where it should be really, really free, right? Press right. W, press E when it's super obvious, and then you're just auto attack someone. You're really happy, right? Um, it's, it's a lot more obvious on Jinx on when to use stuff. Oh, you have no mana now because we use too many abilities, right? Right. So, oh, that was, that was kind of scary. Let me see this. Oh, the hook? Oh my god, you see this minion? Yeah. Dude, he fucking. He fucking blocked it for you. Wait, <laughs> look, look, look. No, the minion's running in a straight line. Look at this, yep. right? And he fucking... And he... <laughs> <laughs> Holy did... shit, that's so funny. Oh, Wait, okay. I don't even know. Why did it do that? What so the I should have oh, died. Oh, it's going for Jin. Wait, it's going for Jin. I don't know about that. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Was it the lantern? No, no, no. It's going for Jin. Check it out. You see this? That's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It for Jin. Okay. So, I mean, we're not dying here. We're just losing a lot of health. That could be important. But whatever. All right. Uh... It's just we didn't have mana for this because uh, we used our abilities uh, suboptimally, I think, early. But right. Sure. Fast forward, see what's going on. Uh, can you push in this picture? What do you think? Uh, no, because Trindle is top, and we don't know where the jungler is. Mm, what well, part about our... Yeah. I do have a lot of wave clear as Zaya, though, and I have my ultimate flash and heal, so I probably could push it in. Right. We have flash, so we could say we're good to go. This is actually... Another advanced concept we can talk about is um, 
if we if our jungler's already doing something like he's showing himself top we have no yep. we no longer have the need to bait hecarim to bait to gank us right so the correct answer is uh we don't have to push if we weren't playing zaya but since we're playing zaya we can just use our ulti to get out instead of using our flash so we're happy right right, right. um so yeah in this case we want to push and run it's to prevent them from being able to do anything bot side does that make sense okay yeah yeah um, you can even do something, I mean, if you get even to the higher levels, you'll say, uh, this is for solo queue, okay? We're just talking about, like, competitive stuff here, but um, the idea is that if you bait Hecarim here, then Talon knows he's not getting ganked, <laughs> right? So he right. can go do something. So um, it, gets, it gets really kind of uh, intricate like that, but all you have to know is that if your jungler is already doing something, you don't have to bait out the gank. And if your jungler isn't doing something, it's always good to bait out the gank, if you can, right? That's basically how okay. solo queue works. So yeah, push when you have flash, as long as you don't die, is the, the basic answer, right? So Especially so you want to push with you when you have flash, and even if the jungler comes, you just want to live, so you bait it out. Yes, perfect. Oh, we're fucking dead here, because there's too many people, right? E... e flash, you can save it! Oh, no, kill him! Oh, you're so dead. You had to kill yeah. him there. Yeah. Oh, no, it could have been worth if you killed someone, but it's not worth. Um, but yeah, you guys are just dead here, because uh, if you... <laughs> so... Um, uh, they had a jungler, right? But not only did the jungler come, right? It was just also rice. So, yeah, it's just classic. Uh, you have to know who's missing on the map. So, like he he started going, he once, started disappearing yeah. right now. So and then once the I, and then once I saw, I I should have seen Thresh too. He started walking forward. Right, as soon as right. I saw that, I should have just left right, right so, here. Well, even here, you're still dead, right? Well, actually, maybe not. Honestly, um, but yeah, it's just you had to know it's coming because at this point. You either say, just die, or you're going to go for some flash play. So yeah, going for flash play is fine, except that uh, we needed to finish. And then we're just dying because there are too many people. Oh, oh, you killed him. I will say it's not worth support got it, right? Yeah. I will say it's not bad. It could have been a lot worse, but it's definitely not good because we lost flash. So yeah, right. I think ideas of if you do lose in the early game, it's not because of your landing. It's because of, what do you think? Macro. Uh, more specifically, I guess um not counting where they are and right then... getting getting ganked right <laughs> yeah you just got to prevent that because you know um now that your whole team is dying like i don't know chant is doing some weird shit now you know what i'm saying like uh, right a lot of weird shit is happening and they're strong so i mean did you play during the nightmare of like olaf and hecarim every game right oh yeah i mean they literally have a hecarim this game so yeah uh that could get it's out of control fun. real quick <laughs> oh yeah dude you can't i hate do anything. i hate hecarim I hate Renekton. Or sorry, not... Well, yeah, I do hate Renekton. I hate Akali. I hate Rengar. Oh, God. Right, like, so you give Rengar champions. a kill. Yeah. So, oh, look at that. He's unstoppable topside now, right? So this is a, this is a doozy, one might say. Um, yeah. We still win. Don't worry. Nice. Here, you don't want to push, right? No. For sure. Because Ryze is missing. So we're definitely dying here. So where should you stand? <laughs> you way should be back. getting XP. You don't even want to show here. Um, because Ryze could be literally on the way, and you guys are dying in a gank, right? So, right. Oh, I think you are dying. Where where has he been this whole time? Where has he been this whole time? I'm so confused. He started missing. Look, he started missing right now. So if he walks bot, you guys are boned. I would say. They're not gonna aim you. They're gonna aim Nautilus, right? So. Really? Yeah, you have ulti. They might yeah, aim guess. you. They might aim you to bait out ulti, but then they can just kill Nautilus for free. Seems or, like in the past like two weeks they always use everything on me always no matter who i'm playing oh is he uh block the lantern oh you have no trinket rip all right let's try oh uh this is a real fiesta now yeah you don't want to go up that way i think it's a bad habit as well don't go up this way almost this is almost never the correct way to help unless you know you win for some reason so you can't go up that okay. way you always go around all right almost never in solo queue Oh yeah, see now it's now ha <laughs> This is the fallout from before, right? Yep. Oh we killed Rice somehow? What the hell? Yeah oh, we went for the lantern. Yeah and, it didn't and then exist. I E. Uh and then we just died though. Oh no, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> oh shit. So yeah, basically if there's anything wrong with this game, it's just ganks, right? Yeah. So I think uh your final landing, just remember the relationship between flash and ganks. And if their gank is so strong you're dying even with your flash up, then you have to take that into account, right? Okay. How do we know their gank is so strong? Something like uh you'll test it, 
for example, this is how I figured out is I say, I have flash. I'm going to push and see if I can get out and I say, I'm going to flash hook or whatever. So how did I know? When did I first make this connection? When I played against Callista, Thresh, and Elise, right? So I pushed, oh, I had flash, no, it did not matter, right? You got ran down. Yeah, so, that's not a fun one. So other other junglers include like, uh, other strong junglers include like Hecarim, Olaf, or like, uh, uh, what's another spicy one? Um, Elise, of course, but she doesn't exist right now. So Definitely. maybe something like Ramis. No, yeah. Eve, is, Eve is really poor early on, right? Oh, early on, yeah. Yeah, yeah before level six. six. Yeah, yeah, then then you definitely then you're definitely getting screwed. But um, and then you also need an enemy enemy support like catch her all in. So like Blitz, Thresh, fucking Alistar, Leona, whatever, something like that. If it's against like a Janna, we probably wouldn't be scared no matter what, right? Um, right. But if it's like a Sona, maybe she can flash out to us or Nami. Nami could get scary, right? But yeah, uh, this is just a. Uh, what do you think this is? <laughs> uh, numbers. Yeah. So don't do this, right? You need a reason. What would a good reason be? They have zero HP. That's it. I don't know. There's no other reason. So you automatically lose here. Fast forward, right? Um, so what would you do instead of... Because my whole thing was like trying to get vision or see if I could do something with dragon. Right. You can't do anything here, right? Uh, you have no smite. You can't steal, right? It doesn't make sense. So what do you do? You can't go mid unless you can walk past this somehow. I don't think you can. You should do a camp. Okay. Do something productive, right? Maybe if they come back to bot, you'll sit like in a bush where it's not worded and you insta kill them. That could be productive, right? Right. Uh, anything productive, right? And what we mean by that is literally anything that's not a throw. You can sit on the AFK under tower, that would probably be better, right? Um do something yeah. that's certain but not a dice roll. Yes, exactly. Right. Okay. Uh definitely don't want to do something that's certainly bad. <laughs> oh, is this working? Oh he's getting out. That's so sad. Alright, whatever. Yeah. Oh, hitting tower is monkey ass, right? Never mind, we yeah. see Hecarim, so we're okay. Should be okay. But uh, if you didn't see Hecarim, you definitely want to uh, maybe Please. make sure that this is working before you do it, I would say. All right. Because uh, you did see Jin base, but Hecarim Rise is plenty enough, I would say, for everyone to die here. Oh, right. Hecarim by himself, just with everything that they build nowadays, is ridiculous. Uh, maybe you can ulti out of his ult, so I would say it's possible to be okay. But um, if it's Rise and Hecarim with an ulti over here, we got mad problems, right? So. I That's find what? that Zaya still even dies, though, if you ult his E damage. Yeah, probably. I'm not surprised. You'd have to ulti his ulti. You can't ulti his E damage because he ulties you after. Right? You die if you don't ulti his E damage. Oh, uh, then I guess you just die either way. Because <laughs> he, he, no he, he runs Boots of Speed, Predator, Ghost. That's what they all do. Oh, and you no. just face tank 1k, and then they oh, do no. Sheen. <laughs> so it's, you just die. You There's just die. No... Yeah, you got to play you Paranoid. Just You're just dying. Um, let's talk about this, though, because I think... In terms of habits, it's all the same when you make a mistake, I think. So, okay. is, do you see a pattern here? Right here. Yeah, I just push without knowing where they are. Well, pushing pushing can be okay, but what do you do after you push that we always say is a mistake? Hit the turret. Yeah, so we hit the tower, Nala's dies. Surprised? No one's, no one's really surprised, right? So, the, idea, the ideas we're kind of seeing are very much macro-based, right? Um, is like, oh, are they get, can they come stop me? If the answer is yes, don't do that thing. How do you know if they can come stop me? What do you think? Man advantage. Uh, true. How do you know if they have man advantage or not? Look at the mini map. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. You just look at the map before you decide, okay? Because this is like the uh, this is like a big thing that I think can improve your gameplay. Like, notice how many times we saw four v five in the last game on your team and the enemy team. If you can just capitalize on that or prevent four v fives on your team from happening, it's just a free ride. I say, I, I would say. Right. Okay. If you can prevent ganks, free free in lane. You were doing a okay in lane until that happened, right? Right. Um, and then uh, in team fights, usually fine, except when it was four v five, and then you guys just died, right? <laughs> so uh, it's all really the same idea, I think, in terms of uh, map awareness. You don't really have any. I mean, sure, you might miss some mechanical ideas, but it's not losing you the game. Oh my god, right. that was disgusting. Yeah, right. yeah. So that's why I mean, this is why we say you just can't die to ganks. Otherwise, this will happen in people are really upset right you can't even, right. you can't even get out here even if you ult so no um, i can't but yeah i think all of that stems from hitting the tower as well <laughs> so don't do that definitely don't do that remember uh instead of like um putting yourself in it don't think about like putting yourself in a winning position because i think you know kind of how that works it's more like don't put yourself in a losing position like hitting okay. tower and stuff like that, right? Or Play trying to defensive. fight 3v2 or... Yeah, yeah. No, or, or it doesn't have to be defensive. It just has to be preventative. 
right? Like okay. uh, this, this for example, right? You know, what are we doing here? Hitting tower. It's the same thing. Where they are. Yeah. It's just the same thing, right? Um, uh, do you know, like the only time I hit tower is when we have some kind of specific comp, when we see all of them on the map, or when they're all dead. That's it. Okay. Even when you have Baron, I rarely hit tower. It literally has to be free as fuck. Otherwise, you're throwing, right? So, uh, would you would you even go so far as like don't even hit tower unless your team starts hitting tower? I'll, I'll spam back ping. They're hitting tower. Are you kidding me? Like you see this? I'm spamming back ping. We're going top here, okay. right? Or we're taking scuttle crab. We're doing something that doesn't involve a losing situation. This is currently losing, right? The like the reason why like at the higher ranks, like at my rank or even higher, you'll see people hit tower is because. They have a way to beat and engage, right? But remember what I said. You have to beat every kind of engage, not just Hecarim coming from straight. What if he comes from over the wall, right? Or behind you right here, back back down on this bush. That's pretty common, right? Or right. what about TP in the middle of the lane? I think that's very common as well, right? Yeah. Um, Rise, Rise and Nas's channel double TP. Oh, we're losing the game because they're getting barren after that, right? The reason why it's so important to think about this and not do it usually is because there is no reward and the risk is losing the game, essentially. Okay. Right? What's the reward? We get some tower damage. Or maybe we you can even get the tower. What's the risk? We just straight up lose, I think. You just give up so much money, the game is almost like impossible. Not impossible, but you're playing from a deficit you shouldn't have to, right? Because even right. if you get this tower, um, it's pretty good, right? You got some map control. Oh, you died? What happens if they run to Baron? We got problems, no, we... right? Your team has right. problems. So that's the idea here. And not only that, but if you die, they're just gonna run down your tower because you're dead. Right, you see what you see where we're getting at is that yeah. it's almost never going to be good to kind of risk it for the tower. I mean, you saw the last game too. You guys try to keep going after you use your rift herald and get the inner tower, and then everyone died. <laughs> right, so it's really the same thing every game. Like I have not seen a case where team hits the tower and goes well. Right, except okay. that you played Jinx, you got super lucky when Leeson tanked the fizz, fizz ulti, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, that was not repeatable though. Right. Oh. Right. That's unfortunate. I didn't expect his burst, and then I was gonna alt and then E feather drawback. Right, but... right, right. I think you had a, I think you had a plan here, but um, he's just three levels up, and he he is throwing cues into your face, right? I didn't even notice he was three levels up till you said it, so I should have uh, looked at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's you. Um, okay, if you had a plan here and you try to execute, I think it's fine. But now you know that why doesn't this work nine times out of ten? Uh, well, for one, it's a two v one. If not a 4v1. We could say 3v1 because you see Hecarim, right? Right. Or we could even say 3v2, 3v3, your team's coming. So why isn't this working? Right here. <laughs> I didn't heal. Uh, No, no, no. Who's doing more damage? Oh, Rise. Right. So unless you have a way to beat that, like you said, you're going to ulti E. Why doesn't ulti E work in this case? I don't know. What if he just takes the lantern? Oh. What if he right. walks sideways, right? right. It, it just doesn't work. It's just never going to work. So that's how we know. It doesn't make sense. But um, I think you had a, it was a nice try, but this is like a learning moment. I would, I would say you can go for these as long as you're uh, figuring out, as long as you're saying this is what the expected outcome was, and then this is why it didn't work. So you can file that away for future re reference, right? Because now, I mean, I've done that so many times, I know that if you're face-taking Rise, you better be killing him now or you're losing, right? Right. So in this case, it's like uh, uh, kind of champion-specific, right? It's like, oh, uh, if Rise is hit hitting you with Q, you're losing, unless he's 0 and 10. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of strange things going on, right? What, what, why do you guys automatically lose this? Hmm... Because not let's get caught out. First thing you do is look at the map, right? That too. Um, 3v... Not even that. 2v4? Mm, so the fast way I do it is that the enemy team has everyone, unless you can see them, and your team has uh, everyone minus the people you can see that aren't here. So this is 5 minus 1 for your team, right? Yep. And they have 5. So that's, how, that's my quick way of doing it. It's just 4v5, straight up. I can, okay. I can figure that out in less than a second. It's just look at the map. Oh, one person missing. This is losing. All right. So 4v5, we don't have to watch. Everyone's dead, right? Let's see. Yep. Oh, we lost Nautilus. Oh, maybe we can save this if they're... Uh... Oh, does not look like we can save this. No, I walk forward. Oh, Ripple. <laughs> it's not like... 
this isn't like oh we chased or anything like that. It was just four v five on the onset, right? So you don't right. want to continue this, okay? Uh, this is not, this is honestly a big idea that a lot of people, in my opinion, miss, right? I mean, I could be wrong, but this is how I play, right? Is that they think oh maybe if I flashed in had a fat ulti or maybe could have saved it somehow. It doesn't. The game doesn't work that way. It's not consistent, right? You're never gonna win this, right? You just need to make sure that you don't fight four v five, and then that's like the first step, I think. Always set yourself up for success before you. Uh, the only kind of mechanical thing you should focus on is like, you Leona missed an auto attack stun or some shit. That's like pretty. That's pretty troll, I would say, right? Um, but you don't really need to focus on mechanics unless you miss something super basic, right? Okay. That's why when you watch competitive play, it's not like, oh, this guy made some crazy outplay. It's more like, oh, they fought for v five and they lost, right? Um, yeah. Or something like that. I mean, crazy plays do happen. It's just. Uh, Teams are going to win, not off the crazy plays, but off 4v5 examples. This Thresh is on top of you, buddy. Whew. Monka S. Okay. Looks like your team started out this fight really well. I don't know what happened, so... Uh, looks like just goon squatted, though. Yeah. Seems good. Since you're winning, you just run forward. You can't lose. Oh, this is still fine, right? <laughs> it's fine because you have so many people, so... Sure. Yep. You didn't get one shot either. Oh, he ignited you. You need to heal off something. Anything. Oh, my God. You're almost dead. Seems good. Baron, I think he's reasonable yep. because uh, why are they pinging you? You need to pick this shit up. I <laughs> know. The fuck? Dude, you're literally dying to Baron AoE if you don't pick that up. Yep. All right, fine. Sure. Fast forward. Kill it. Very good. So interesting that... um, Let me see. How did this break out? It was just... I have no idea, right? Probably some kind of... I think allowing Rise. Ulti yeah. Or Talon one shot is my guess. Let's see. Talon is going in. uh, And then Jin dies. Okay, Talon one shot. Yeah. Yep. That's all we need to know. We see it so many times, you can kind of predict what's happening. Let's see. Oh, okay. Push. This is perfect. Okay. So this is what we want to see, except earlier in the game. Is this a similar picture? Just imagine no Baron minions were up. It's just, you wanted to push this and then go this way instead of hitting tower, right? This right. is what we want to see. Why do we know we can't okay. hit tower? Usually bad. And team's not here. So this is exactly what we want to see. Oh, make sure you're not face checking Hecarim though. <laughs> And then you're good to go. Wait, uh, you need to go back mid. What's going on? Uh, I think we all decided to go top. And then Trundle wanted to take red buff. Uh, okay, I mean, if a fight breaks out and... Oh, maybe? This looks kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. Oh, run top, boys. Go top, go top. Yeah. You don't want to help this. It doesn't make sense. Go top. Yeah, this is why it doesn't work, right? It's because uh, it doesn't make sense. They're just killing... Uh, I mean, when in doubt, five-man siege, sure. But why would I say push mid here? You should have gone back mid here. Uh, mid is a turret that's easier to take. Okay, true. Uh, but can you push? If you can push the wave, you should. Right? Okay. Because when they defend, then you guys can hit top because they're missing a person. Right. right? Um, but honestly, you don't really need to know this. I think it's more important that you make sure you're not throwing for the that's, uh Yeah, that's other like ideas. way back in gold when i first learned wave management i would purposely leave one caster minion if there was if the lane was uh like even at the river mm -hmm. i would leave or i would kill one minion and then just walk away and go to the other side of the map that way the wave would accumulate right huge. slow push towards them right right so it seemed like it was okay uh but you just have to kite it out fat allow you ulti jesus christ I know. I know. You're gonna kill everyone here. Ah, uh, don't go for the rise though. You guys are losing this. Yeah. You guys got a lot. Uh, just hit the just hit the inhib if they let you. Yep. Yeah, good. they let us, and I was just like, okay. Run, bye. boys. Yeah. <laughs> rise is pretty strong. All right, so you did good. That was really good. So okay. I think in terms of team fighting, I don't think you really have any problems, do you? No, I Overall. think there's some there's some things where I I kind of like oh I should have watched out for that, but I pretty much know. Right. Like, right. How I died. Overall, it seems quite good. It's only right. the four v five stuff where you get caught up on or uh, map awareness ideas. I think that's pretty. That's like, whenever you see that, you want it. You want it to stop. Okay. When you see a four v five, you want it to stop. And then okay. if you can help, you should go. I mean, I don't think really think you have problems helping, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't do four v fives. That's like the first thing you need to check. That's like how. That's how. That's like the only time you've thrown slash lost advantages is kind of four v five ideas, right? Right. Okay, well, hit the closest guy. Seems good. Ulti this. Oh, very nice. Yep. Clean, dude. See? No problems. No problems. Is there a problem, though, here? <laughs> uh, is it 4v5? 
What do you think? I don't know. How many people do you five. have? And they have five. We, uh, we have four, and they have five. Right. Four and five. So this is how you lose the game. Serious, right? How many times have yeah. you done this, and they ran it down mid, and you lost? I've seen it so many times. Too many, right? yeah. So you don't want to do this unless you know for some reason you can win this. I don't know, but I don't know what you guys can do to win this. But maybe you're saying Eli's going to have the fattest ult or something. I don't know. But you got lucky here because why? This guy is just uh Yeah, he just did. Right. But let's say he didn't, and they're slowly boxing you in. Then you guys have a problem, right? Right. Uh, have you ever so watched? What... Oh, yeah. What would you do then? So you see this? You saw this. Let's yeah. See. So right obviously here. Talon kills Jin and then Talon dies. Right. So Jin's coming up back sooner. What do you do? Push bot, push mid. Okay. Right. You don't want to keep. You don't want to sit. You don't want to see. You don't hit tower though. Hitting tower is like, like this is how you lose the game essentially. You want to push out mid, right? The reason why you can't go down here is because can you get this stuff before Jin spawns? And the answer is going to be no. Right. Like look at this. Fast forward. You couldn't get it before Jin spawns. Right. And what's the difference? Jin's getting here so much faster than Talon is. Right. The only, the only, the only time this is good is if you have TP on your dead member. This is the common uh, top laner died, but he has TP spam pinging it. Let's go, right? Then it's then it's doable, I would say, right? But in this case, it's just it's just straight four v five. This this does not this does not work if this Nasus didn't suicide, right? Okay. Like, what would you guys have done if Thresh and Hecarim just went down this way and they didn't they didn't engage, just went behind you guys, and then Rise is like sitting then, here with Nasus, yeah. Jin's behind them. Okay, this is really awkward. Hecarim like, ulted we, us, and then what do we do, right? Yeah. Yeah. How do we go for which side do we go for? Do we dive? Do we go? Do we go fight these guys? Who knows, right? Um, so yeah, it's just uh, it's usually not gonna be good. Wow, it actually is turning out pretty not bad, not good either. Actually, right? Yeah. Even though you kill someone for free, it's not even that good. So yeah. Um, oh, what the hell? This guy's dead. Oh, maybe. It comes pretty close. He's out. Pretty sure. Yeah. He could be and cheeky. The what the hell is wrong with his lantern? Oh, he flashed. Oh. Yeah. Probably afraid that uh he was gonna get hit before he could grab the lantern. Sure, I think that's fine. But yeah, uh, it's just really four v five ideas. That's like the only way you're losing these games essentially is not because of mechanics or anything like that. It's just I can't even. We can't even talk about what you should do in the mid game because you just you guys keep dying because you try and hit tower. I think right. Right. In the mid game, you want to be pushing waves out and then go ward and stuff like that. I think that's like a a super bad habit that most players at diamond three and lower do or not even diamond three just diamond one and lower do is just they just uh try and hit someone after they push the wave it doesn't make sense so I'm sure you guys are just winning by brute force i think that's fine just run it down now oh okay you guys can bear in two they haven't uh you just had to wait for a mid and top to push oh never mind we're just gonna kill someone i guess yeah okay sure hitting the closest guy hecarim's here that's a monka s he could have i think you. i mess up here <laughs> Uh, you have no ulti, so you definitely die here, right? You should, yes, you should get GA. Yes, I GA. die. So everybody else dies, and then my GA pops, and I die. Right. So how do we know before it happens? Uh, probably because Talon used all of his stuff. That was a bad all on his part. Yeah. You should assume a right, fight right, is losing, right. unless proven otherwise. So currently losing. I have not seen otherwise. So yeah, we're just uh, we just we just it does not seem good. And then Ryze right. is just killing everyone here, right? So, right. uh, did we waste ulti? I don't know. I don't think so. When did I ult? You ulted back in their base, I'm sure. Yeah. But, uh, the idea here is, yeah, we can hit the closest guy. And then, I don't know. I guess the fight was just so disaster. There's nothing you can do. This is why I don't really like Zaya either. <laughs> you can't get out if your team screws up, right? Right. Um, uh, so yeah, I would say, I would, this is not your fault. Actually, this is like not your fault at all. So we don't worry about fights like that. You did, you pretty much did what you could there. Fast forward, taking red, sure. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This Thresh is about to die. Thresh and Nas is about to die, sure. Yeah. Um, wow, we almost got screwed here though. Yeah. By, uh, a random hook in the middle of the fight. Fat ulti uh -huh. though, because uh, Hecarim didn't do it in time. Oh, we're still dying, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, press e. oh, I couldn't, get I it couldn't do it in time. Yeah. It's fine. Um, yeah, I would not recommend Zaya like for these reasons, right? It's just like, how do you save this? If you're Jinx, it's really obvious. Just stand here, throw shit, right? You're really happy. I don't know. I'm not a fan of Zaya, but if you really like Zaya, you can keep doing her. It's just the main things I think you should focus on are not mechanics based, right? 
Okay. All uh all macro slash map awareness related. Okay. Look at the map, okay. and you need to decide who's here. Okay. Like if we watch another game, it's gonna be the same thing. I'm pretty sure. Let's check it. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's gonna Which be the one? same thing. You can choose either of those. Those are the absolutely atrocious games. Oh, I'm not Raven. mistaken. Um, that's fast. Four. Oh, actually, let's watch these. Let's watch landing. Actually, see what's going on. I picked this game because I hate Brand too. I hate versing Brand. He just does oh. whatever he wants with WQ. You guys are just dead. Yeah. <laughs> He's dead. Run. That was really that was really poor. I think by uh, Thresh to walk up. But, yeah. uh, okay. Oh, we're going for this. What makes him think you can go for this? They have heal, you don't. Uh, yeah, you guys, there's no. <laughs> you can't fight that. You want to run. Oh, and a gank. So, yeah, uh, this is the idea of he, if you see something like this and it's not good, you don't help. Okay. How do you know it's not good? Because, obviously, like you said, they have heal, but then at the same time, uh, Thrush does not have any health left. Right, this is just, uh, I don't see how this is winning. This needs to be a reason, right? Let's say everyone's even health, and uh, you can hit him for free. Okay, I think that's fine. Let's say that they have zero HP, you're hitting him, you're killing him. That's fine too. But let's say you guys have nothing, and then you land this. It's not fine, right? It doesn't look good. Right. I mean, I mean, a more extreme example is you both have one HP, he lands a hook. Do you do this or not? They both have one HP, and he, no, he no, lands no. a hook? You, you guys have one HP, and he lands it, right? It's like kind of showcasing the idea that just because you land your skill shot CC does not mean you can go in. Right. right. Uh, so you just, you just need to recognize that there's zero percent chance you guys win this. Right. You just need to leave and not die. But yeah, it's not it's not the the original mistake is not yours, but you can save it if you don't die. Right. Yeah, if you can uh, stop the bleeding. <laughs> yeah, stop the bleeding. Indeed. Right. Exactly. Um, okay. Now you're just fucked because uh, if he. Oh, okay. Now yeah, you still have flash. He... Never mind. You still have flash, but it's. it's I still have oh, flash, but like. Do not hope that either. Oh, something happened to the game. Okay, sure. You only want to follow up on something you know is good. So there is a nice try. Jinx Thresh is. Not, I mean, uh, Jinx Thresh is not the greatest combo, but. Sure, all you do is farm. You just pray you, at this point, honestly. Do you think at this elo, it's even worth it to try and, like, pick 80 carries based on matchups like combos oh yeah are you kidding me are really you, i would sign me up for that right um because it's not about at this elo or whatever it's about at your, as long as you're even skill level it's going to make a difference right uh yeah that makes so, sense um if you're struggling with this matchup and picking something like Jin would help you i'll probably i'll probably do it. i mean i do it right I don't even care. Right. Like I, I'm playing on like Smurf accounts. I don't care. I'm picking the favorable matchup when I can, <laughs> right? There's no need to uh, make things harder for yourself unless you have some kind of plan in mind, like you're gonna outscale or something. I don't know. Um, oh, he's just dead. You can't help him. So yeah, it seems like yeah. uh, this is just unlucky game. You can't. What are you supposed to do here? You just have to run because you're getting dove, right? Right. Nothing. You can't beat this dive because um, they can just walk away from the They're traps. They're level six. Nothing yeah. to flash. You're just dying. Um, and there's a game coming, so you can't stop that. Fast forward. Oh god, you gotta push this out and run. Okay, good. You have TF now, so maybe you can actually do something. Oh, Ranger, hello. Where's our uh, Where's our twisted fatal What's going on? Oh, never mind. He killed him. <laughs> wow, yo, yo, mid is winning. Mid jungle winning. Yeah. All I have to do is just pray. Even if you're 30 CS down, you just have to not die. What is this that we talked about already? Uh, map awareness. And why is that? Thrush is not with us, so it's instantly a two v two or a three v two, or or even maybe a four v two. You can't but count. I'm... You can't count. Uh, twist of fate. Why? He has no mana. Yep, that's it. Easy. You did it really quick. So this is all you had to do in game. The reason why we're like doing it every time is kind of like practice. So we're trying to make the habit right now, if that makes any sense, right? Or practicing right. the habit right now. I mean, it's not that, um, uh, the reason why this is so good is because you don't even have to be playing to, f to make sure this habit is still good, right? Like I'm watching your gameplay and I'm doing the same thing. Right. right? All I had to do so is predict I, what's going to happen. Yeah. So if I'm like at work or something, I could just be watching a game of yours or something right, or exactly. anybody and, you'd be and like, just what? be like, okay, <laughs> pause. Who is, what's going on? Yes, exactly. That's what you should be doing. That's kind of it's like kind of active learning, right? 
Um, right. So, yeah, that's exactly what I do is whip out a, a VOD of someone better than me and I say, why is he doing this right now? What would I do? And then, um, or actually, what, what, what would I do right now? And see if he does the same thing, right? And then you can see the difference in gameplay and see what's going on. What's going on here? Oh, that's Mocha S. You can't help that. Yeah. <laughs> you just can't do anything. It's fine. Sometimes this happens, right? Um, you just have to deal with it. Oh. You guys are dying if you walk up. Oh, you wanna you wanna leave? He's dead as fuck. He is dead. He is dead. All right, so this is just unlucky. So this is not really a game you worry about for landing at least, right? This is a game of how well can you stop the bleeding, essentially, right? Right. So so far we're doing so so far so good after the uh, initial disaster, right? He's pinging okay. you. Why is he pinging you? Uh, he wanted me to come in and help. Right, but Brand. Oh, Brand's mid, I guess. I don't know. I kind of was just like, I don't even want to touch Draven. And maybe I could have ulted. Yeah, maybe you could have ulted. You should look for something, but it's good to not walk up because you're just dying, I think, right? Right. I guess I should have ulted where, uh, right where his axes would have dropped. Right, and maybe heal. So I would say you could look for something there, but I think it's reasonable to not walk up. But you should be looking at the fight at the very least, I would say. Right. For sure. It's honestly not a situation that comes up too often i wouldn't worry about as much let's see what's going on here okay there's a fight going on here there's driven bot no thresh but uh looks like this can is getting one shot oh you can get you can get this guy flash oh you don't even yep. have to flash easy all right push mid right yep oh this guy wants to die too <laughs> this guy wants to die too all right kill yeah. him push mid and then don't go for driven what yeah he miss he miss yeah miss click or is running out. No, no, no. It's a misclick. It's still... Rengar ulti lasts forever. Wow. That is tragic. It's okay. You can't get him. Oh, you need to run. Oh, you ran the wrong way. Oh, never mind. You're just dead. Yeah. Uh, I debated. So... It was just... Because in my head, I'm like, he's just going to EWQ or whatever. Honestly... He passed, I think he passed really well. Honestly... I should have like, just left sooner. Yeah. This is like a... um. The reason why we didn't talk about this after you died to Fizz in the exact same way is because it is not something that happens as often as everything else. Right. Right. It's like this fight is so long, other people are coming. Right. So you have to know which direction they're coming from. Um, I mean, the reason why I guess we're kind of talking about now is because it happened two and th twice in three games or four games. Right. So I wouldn't worry about it as much for sure. Um, but if there is, you know, it is map awareness related. It's just not something I would want you to focus on right now, right? Okay. This is the idea of in the middle of the fight, you have to wonder where everyone else is, right? We call this team fight awareness. Instead of map awareness, we call it team fight awareness is because you're busy doing something <laughs> and you still need to look at the map. Oh my God, this is suicidal. <gasps> Thresh. The goat. Well, see, see what we mean? As long as you don't flame them, they're going to find something crazy, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pogchamp. That was sick. Wait, let me watch this again. How did he find that? Was he aiming brand? I don't understand. He that was actually insane. I think it's because yeah, oh Twisted Fate did God. the flash card, and he probably felt confident he could just throw it. Wow, that was fucking sick. He was aiming for brand, but uh, Draven got it for him. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow. Okay. Draven's like that minion from earlier. That's a uh, trust fall from Twisted Fate, right? <laughs> you guys are automatically winning three v two. You just gotta keep this going somehow. Oh, you can. He gets this. out. Don't don't you know? Oh. Yeah. Um, it's because he has the uh, blast cone, right? Yeah, it, it doesn't work that way. So, I would probably save it until he's running in a straight line. But sure, nice try. Uh, okay, someone died top. That's kind of awkward. Uh, okay, we're pathing top probably because we can't handle Draven bot. I think that's fine. Everyone's coming up here too. Can we help this? Yes, we can. Seems fine to me. I'm pretty sure I die here. Traps. This is over, right? No. Ooh, he walks ooh. out. Let's talk about this. So you felt the need to do something, but we realize we recognize that even in these kind of situations, you would want to hold on to your abilities, right? Right. Because imagine if you had uh, put that on him, you put that yeah. put the E on him, he's definitely dying to uh, something here, right? Like look how close it is. He would have died for sure. I would say he's still dying, but it got really close, right? <laughs> right. It got so close. Oh my god! If he didn't drop an axe, he definitely dropped an axe somewhere. Check it out. I don't think. Uh, maybe because of gold. Right there. Yeah, golden right. card. If you pressed Q here, you're dead. So, Monka S. 
Sure. Let's just Draven. Uh, oh, you need to flash this or you're dead. Oh, you just died a W. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Yeah, this is just an unlucky game. Don't worry about this, okay? Um, okay? Stuff like this is just how do you deal with it as best as possible, essentially, right? And I think you're doing, I think you're doing fine for the most part, right? I mean, you're helping. Anytime it's a 5v4, you help. Anytime it's a 4v5, right. don't help, right? Or 3v5, I should say. 4v5, you should help. But um, you're basically just trying to deal with, wow, this Twisted Fit is carrying you guys. Oh, my God. Yeah, he was really good. Actually keeping you guys in the game somehow, okay? But it's fine. You need to push this out, though. You need to push this. Uh, maybe if you don't know where Aatrox is, it could be spooky. Renekton. Renekton, Renekton, not Aatrox. You guys have the Aatrox. Yep. Okay. You guys can win this because they had a person bot. Oh, are you getting one shot? Oh, uh, you shouldn't have taken that. Uh, yeah. Okay, I mean, it's still good. You still, you still want to fight this because it's 5v4, so... This is what we mean by if you can recognize these situations, you can win the game no matter what. Because okay. look what just happened. What was the outcome of this? That you guys fought 5v4. Everyone spam pinging on her. What was the outcome? You guys win. Yeah. <laughs> right? You guys win the fight because you have more people, right? Look at this. How much money did they just give up? Look at that. How many A deaths bunch. did they have? You guys are winning the game now. Yeah. If not, if not winning, you guys are even, right? So that's 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 the, that's the those are the things you want to look out for. So you're doing really good in this game. Okay, you can't help that. Let's push top. Oh, I leave. Monka S. Okay, you can't help that. Oh, fat snipe actually. They just wait until they uh stop moving. Yeah. yeah. They didn't though, so I just kind of left. Okay, that's fine. You can't find anything there. Okay, there. That's not really your fault. Oh. Okay, nice try. But uh, we're just dying here. So this is a don't try and defend because you're dying, right? Right. But honestly, I didn't even didn't even know that just, uh, he was on top of me. Game is just hard, huh? Yeah. Oh, you don't want to walk up to him. Whew. Oh, never mind. Yes, you do. I'm You're kind of just waiting for Rengar, Ren Ren but he doesn't yeah, go yeah. in. So. Oh, he goes in now because he's one shot. He was waiting oh, for yeah. you to hit something because he can't. Yeah, he, he he needed you to hit something to one shot. Oh, fat snipe. So, yeah, I mean, you're doing good uh, overall. I think if there's anything to look at, it's just numbers idea, okay? Okay. Uh, uh, he's level 16. Oh, shit. Even if you flash, you're dead. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Essence Reaver and Acting is got It's it. so hard. dumb, dude. He gets all his cooldowns back when he autos. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny, huh? Presses W. Oh, he can press all these buns again. Uh, so, how do you know we win this fight? Unless someone gets one shot. Uh. Well, Ari dies almost instantly. I don't know how we win. Maybe numbers? Numbers. But the fight, you guys died so quick, it didn't look too good, right? Yeah. You died You died for free, essentially. Right? So it's not good just because they're so strong and we had to buy more time. If you had bought more time, it would be a lot more cleaner, right? I mean, you guys can still win this, right? Look at this. It's yeah. Just, it would have been a lot cleaner if you bought more time. So same same kind of idea. Um yeah, that's kind of what we're looking for in these games, is make sure you know how many people you have. But yeah, okay. this is just unlucky, honestly. I wouldn't worry about too much. Would not worry about it too much. Oh, he's fucking dead. Oh. You got ulti. I'm dead. Oh, shit. Uh. Yeah, uh, this is kind of, uh, uh, Ripple. Some, Lane was some just too, too bad. Manka S game. Yes, indeed. Lane was just too troll, so. Alright, we got two minutes left. Do you have any questions as we, uh, finish these? Uh... I don't think so. Let me just double check real quick. Um, yeah, no, I think you went over most of my questions. Most of my questions was, am I too aggressive positioning? But like you said, I think all that is kind of just dependent on the 4v5. Right, yeah. It's aggressive because it's impossible to win, right? Or maybe not aggressive. It's impos It's just like, it seems aggressive because you're trying to do something that's like not possible, right? Right. Um, remember the, the the easy fixes is don't hit tower. That's like an easy fix. And uh, make sure you look at the map. Is a good habit, not an easy fix, but a good habit for fixing everything else. Right. Like uh, you know, uh, wait, why are we going top here? Let's watch this real quick. Sure. So what what do you think I would have done here? Hmm.
This picture. Yeah, yeah go back. Uh. Bam. He Can misses, so. Soul is running. Yeah, you leave. Is this a fight? No. There's nothing to help then, right? So right. what should you do instead? Just go back mid. Yes, push mid, push mid. It's all about pushing and clearing waves, okay? Pushing gotcha. and clearing waves, do not hit tower unless free, and help fights that you know you can help, right? It's kind of basically how, how it works, right? You push mid here, what should you do next? Go bot, right? Or actually, you know, they're all bots, so never mind, we can hit tower. Yeah, I saw that they win. I'll do this sometimes, where if I just see my team wins or gets a numbers advantage, then I just split push something. Because mm -hmm. uh, I know I can get the tower. This is interesting. Uh, I don't. I would not have done this, but what do you think I would have done? Probably stayed mid or go top, maybe. I don't know. Right, we want to keep going mid here, right? Uh, because we are getting something concrete mid. CS. Right. 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 And tower CS. damage, maybe. Yeah. Right. This is like if they just walk away, we're kind of missed out on our opportunity to push mid, right? Um, even though we get the kills, I would say it's probably definitely not what I would have done. And then, There's more value uh, elsewhere. Right. More consistency, right? I mean, definitely yeah. the two kills is really good, but uh, I don't think they had to... <laughs> if they watched you leave mid, they could just walk away. Oh, what are we doing here that we talked about already? Um, Hitting tower. Yep, that's it. Hitting tower, they have to all be dead. I promise you. All of them, right? Even if two of them are dead, we're still dying, right? Um, just because they have more people, right? There's literally no way you can get away. You see what I mean? It's yeah, just yeah. like, uh, oh, now they're going to run to Baron's side or they're going to push out waves. Or your team's gonna fight and everyone's gonna die. That's the uh, that's the classic. Oh, Aurelian Soul is scary, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, uh, that's how you prevent this kind of stuff from happening. Is don't make the first mistake. That's always kind of the uh, it's always a game about who makes the first mistake and can their team save it, right? Is the idea. That makes sense. Yeah. So it's it's really like chess, like you said, where right. you position your pieces in a place where they're thinking about like they have to be the one to mess up right like if you're looking for a uh a fork right uh don't yep. or or you have to be watching out for like the fork right on your king and queen or some shit like that i mean i've done or I've you done, yeah <laughs> up by that a lot um, or you stuff pin like a that. bunch of pieces on theirs and then they have to you know this is an interesting fight wait did we cast ulti uh i think so I would definitely hold on to it, right? It's too chaotic yeah. to know what's going on. But right. you did hit someone, so... Oh my gosh, she missed ulti. Oh my god, Pike missed. Oh, why is he... Yeah, I think if Pike would have hit there... Oh, What a snipe! Oh my god, trap his ass. Oh, so free! Good stuff. Nice cleanup. Yep. Good job, good job. Push mid. Oh, you want to go take camps. You don't want to hit tower, right? Right. Oh my god, you're crazy. You know... A classic hit tower when they're dead, it becomes they TV behind you and then you lose Baron, right? Right. So even when they're dead, you gotta make sure it's it's working, right? Um, fast forward. Oh, 45. Is this? Nope. Never mind. Jin's dead, so could be okay. Push mid. So yeah, it seems like all you gotta do is make sure you're not the first one to die, in terms okay. of or the first one to make the decision to do 4v5 stuff, because like hitting tower and stuff, that's how like teams lose. You know what I mean? All you have to do is not screw up like that, and the other team will. Like, look at the position right now, right? right? They just keep doing it over and over again. You guys are winning. He's dead as hell. So maybe I should think of myself as, like, the cavalry, where you come right. in from behind and you right, 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 just right, do right. whatever. The only time you're in the front is when you're, like, baiting, and you know for some reason you can't lose, right? Let me show an example. Um, do I have an example? I should have an example here. This one? No. Wrong side. This one. Oh yeah, this one. Right. You won 80 Kai's of this game. Oh yeah. So how do you know I can't lose when I ulti in? What do you think? Wait, hold up. Not yet. Eh, it's in 5 seconds, but... Yeah. I'm guessing Zara wastes her CC. No, she has it. So... Why can't I go in here? What's the plan, I guess? What do you think? Oh, QSS or CC? Mm, I would say if you're getting hit, you're dying to damage. Why can you ulti in here? I don't know. Alright, let's watch then. Now what? 
Now your team gets to go forward? Well, was I under any... Is there anything they could have done to stop me? What do you no. Think? Right, that's the idea, is that I can go in because there's no, there's no way they can stop me, right? Uh, right. Anything like they're flashing on me, I have flash. Anything like they have some kind of CC, I have QSS, right? There's no way. It's, 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 it's basically like tic-tac-toe when you went first and you got like the corner in the middle or some shit, right? You know what I mean? When you're yeah. playing tic-tac-toe. Um, oh, yeah. That's what this is. There's no way they can stop me. And how do you know this ulti is good? Or why do I think this ulti is good? Why is it good value? It draws, they probably don't expect it, so they're going to waste a bunch of abilities, and then you get to start hitting the inhib for free. Mm, I would say it's not about baiting abilities, but because what if they held on to it? We're just wasting ulti. Why is it good? Right, right, right. Who did I hit after I ultied? Zyra. Oh, you hit Victor. Right, so why did is that good? Did you pop his... No, 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 I didn't pop it, but... You know, yeah. mid laner starting with half health seems pretty good to me, right? Oh yeah. I'll say I'll say relatively worth. So now they can't stop us from pushing. I would say. That makes sense. Right. So I would say I judge that hitting him once is worth LT. So I'm going for it, right? So when there's no, but the big idea is there's literally no way they can stop you. That's how you want to play, right? Gotcha. You want to eke out advantages until you have the winning play, and then you go for it, right? Um, so anything like at your rank, it's just all five v four stuff. That's what you want to look at. And then it will okay. clean up your game a lot, I think, right? Um, like the only time I'm like I'm sure that these uh, most of these deaths are related to five v four ideas, or you're hitting tower and you're dying, right? It's just the yeah. two fix, two easy fixes, or one easy okay. fix and one good habit we want you to work on. So how do we make this into a habit when you want to do something? So let's say we no longer hit tower, right? Let's say we see a fight break out. The first thing you do is look at the map, like we did. We pause, we look at the map, and then we decide. And then let's say. Uh, after we push, we don't know what to do. Um, you should just ward shallow and stay under your tower if you have no idea. Like you, have, you only make a decision when um, you figured it out. Like what's consistently good, right? Um, anything other than that, anything something happens, you look at the map, right? That's kind of how you want to play. So, okay. okay, sounds good. Yeah, I wrote it all down, so I think awesome. it's awesome. Be awesome. Um, yeah, let me know how these games go because it seems like when we when you didn't make those mistakes, you just like ran them down in team fights, right? Yeah, it yeah. seemed really good in team fights. So if there's anything you want to work on in terms of mechanics, you already know. Just don't use your abilities, and you're yeah. good to go. Um, <laughs> you need yeah, to have so that, that like ten commandments. The ten eighty C commandments. Thou shall not <laughs> use thy abilities. <laughs> thou shall not. Thou shall not press W. Or press R. Uh, it's too good. All right. Yeah, that about sums it up. If you have uh, any last questions slash anything uh, else you want to talk about. Will this be on your channel? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll upload it and uh, okay. send you the link and all. So. Yeah, that way I can just go over it when I'm feeling like it's not going well. So Go back and review. Sounds good. Exactly. Sounds so. good. All right, cool, cool, cool. 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 All right. Good luck in your games. Let me know how they go, man. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good one, my dude. Yeah.